Alright, is the sound working now, please? I hope, I hope, I hope. Is the mic still being a bitch? Shouldn't be, I restarted everything. I just need to sleep, damn it. Okay. Yeah, it sounds like it's working. Yeah, 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 we're good, we're good, we're good now. Everything's good. Everything's good forever. Good. Now, my headphones over to my live audio. Oh, my TV's turned off, that's not good. I need to be able to see the game not on a three second delay. Why did the TV not turn on when I wanted it to? That's very strange. Okay, now it's turning on. Welcome, fellow wanderers and watchers alike. It is I, the one known as Mar, and I'm here to stream to Death Letter Canada. Wearing Left 4 Dead clothes because I don't have any Death Letter Canada clothes, and they're similar because zombies are in them. So, how's everyone doing on this lovely Monday night? I hope everyone had the day off like I did, because I work in an office job right now, and offices are often closed on Memorial Day. So, happy Memorial Day! Oh, Snaz isn't open, so the date's not showing. Oh boy, one not one thing, it's another thing. Do 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 Come on, let's do it. Come on, let's do it. Come on down. Please, oh please, oh please. Come on, Snaz, what are you doing? Yeah, okay, now it's loaded. Okay, good. Excellent, excellent, perfect, good. Death Road to Canada, ho! Boink. I think I spent all my points, let me just double check because I can't remember anything ever in my life. Hey, you know me, what's up? Okay, I used all the points. Goodbye! That's all I needed. That's all you didn't know, I needed you to confirm it for me, and you did, so thank you. Let's hit that goddamn road with a brick or something. Okay. <clears throat> let me sit up a little bit, be a little more in frame of my camera. I don't want to move it again right now. Alright, hi. Yeah, it's me, I'm still here. Okay. Ha! Huh. Start the game! New game! Did I get all my friends? Did I get all my friends in here yet? Or at least most of them? Uh, that's me. But let me just quickly... Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that's that's good for now. Yep, that's that's good for now. So, my friends I wanted to play GTA with, these are the ones here. Eddiekins, not his real name. Rold, not his real name. And Tay, not his real name. Uh, but they are, you know, those are the handles that go by. Climb, w uh, Climb would be fine to play too, but he doesn't. I don't think he has VTA installed. Whatever. But those are the three that I was trying to play with, and they are variously busy. Tay and Eddiekins may or may not be ready later, and we might switch over. Uh, in the meantime, maybe we'll encounter them on the Death Road to Canada. Alright, new game. Let's go for it. Uh, it doesn't matter what slot. It was, uh, I'm gonna load myself. Because I'm full of myself. No, shit. I didn't do buddy. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute now. No. Wait a minute. How do I... Wait. Can I even quit? Is, there... Is it possible to quit? I don't remember if you can quit. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna close it and open it again. Because I don't remember what I'm doing. Alright. Load it up. Load it up. Load it, load it up. Load it up. Load, load it up. Load screen. That's a lovely splash screen, huh? Da, 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 da. I'll get there, don't worry. Oh, in case no one's seen the title screen too, that it's pretty funny. It's pretty funny. I think it's funny. You don't have to think it's funny. It's up to you to decide what you think is funny. I won't judge you. Am I hearing things? Sorry if the air system is making noise. Turn it off all the things I can turn off. Uh, start N new game, and I'm gonna erase that one. Yeah, erase it, kill it, make it dead. There we go. Now, load me, and my body will be a rando. Rando Kirby, the martial artist with a mysterious past who likes wearing bowler hats and Homestar Runner t shirts. Sounds like a plan. Game mode. Normal, because I haven't been on this console yet. Start! Let's -a go! Okie dokie! Bar, here's rumors that Canada is a safe place, free of the threat of zombies, and the threat of, you know, any sport other than hockey. 
We learned again from waiting on Florida because, you know, the hurricanes and flooding made it good to leave anyway. He just was it Florida? Man. He decides to brave the death road and travel north. Losing your car, open up to nearly constant negative events and bandit attacks. Yes, I know. Thank you. Hit the road. Hit the goddamn road. Sam and Max hit the road. That was a pretty good PC game. Where are we going to start off? Let's see. Rest stops have always done me right when I start off there. Shouldn't need a flashlight. Let's take a quick look here. Uh, Kirby is always spouting pop culture quotes. Mar is drawing a comic book about his life. I kind of dabbled in that when I was like in elementary school. I, I well, doodled drawings my whole life. But, uh, well, not the whole life. You know, not when I was a baby. But uh, I never did... Like, I actually tried to p make a comic book when I was in elementary school, and I think I still have it somewhere in a binder. Uh, but it'll probably never see the light of day on the internet, because it's pretty bad, because I was an elementary school kid. Alright, anyway, uh, go! Beep, beep. Alright, uh, uh, Kirby, I, I don't know why I forgot your name right away like that. I just gotta remember, like, like Kirby from Kirby Dreamland, he's gonna suck up all the zombies and then swallow them and get zombie powers. Or something. Ah, here's the treasure trove that I knew would be here. Excellent work. Me, for choosing this. Uh, excellent work. I, uh, rest stop for having the supplies. Yes. I, I don't know who I'm, who I, I don't know who I was addressing. I want the hatchet. Thank you. Hey, Kirby, you want this knife? You want the... No, I'll take... Oh, forget it then. Waste not, want not, and all. Pip, pip, cheerio. I wonder if Kirby's a Brit. He's got a bowler hat on. I mean, it doesn't necessarily mean he's a Brit. But, uh, for some reason, I made that connection. Backstab! Oh, backstab! There we go. Perfect. I did it perfectly on the first try. I don't care if there's video evidence to the contrary. This isn't a court. I'm not on trial here. You're on trial. You're out of order! I'm sorry. I didn't mean to snap at you. But I had a lot of frustrations trying to get on get the stream going today, so I'm in a bad mood. Not really. Not really too bad. I've been in worse moods. I'm so bad. Except not. I'm a little frustrated. A little annoyed. Who uses pay phones anymore? Honestly, it's the age of cell phones. Smart and zombos. Get in the car, get in the car, Kirby. And away we go! Not bad. Not bad for start now. Fire! Oh shit! Luke was against the judgment and camps in a city apartment because there's no zombies around. When they wake up, the building is on fire. While I'm a brilliant boy, I'm gonna plan out our escape with charts and grass and whatnot. Uh, me. I just said it. Mar tries to keep calm and observant. He can't keep calm at all! The group panics! That's that's not realistic. I, I'm cool as a cucumber at all times. I plan a fast way, but I still plan a fast way out, even in my panic, and we leave unhurt. We got away. So we just got a little sad because we panicked, but I st still did it. This canned food is a lot better when you're able to heat it up, says me. The group finds a used car lot that seems untouched by time, or at least not touched by looters. They find a supply of gasoline in a few working cars. Get 74 gas. Now, do I want to swap? Mm -hmm. Hybrid. Yeah. Amazing gas mileage. Okay. We need to be wary of random people. Who knows what they're capable of? Says me. The group spies the city from a distance. There's more undead than usual, but it's early in the day, so they could be, or they should be groggy. At least at first. They haven't had their coffee yet. So there's mild swarm size, sluggish aggression, mourning, and we spot a pharmacy. A pharmacy. As they say. As no one says, that's not how that word is pronounced. Kirby, what were you carrying again? Nightstick? What happened to your didn't you start with a weapon, Kirby? What, did you eat it? That's not cool. Maybe he really did think he was Kirby from Kirby's Dreamland and tried to copy his weapon. And just choked on it. But luckily, he didn't die. That would have been a tragedy. Oh, box cereal. Yeah. I don't know why that was in a pharmacy, but, well, I mean, okay. Most pharmacies nowadays do have those general stores as part of them anyway, so. Uh, it's not too weird. You don't, I, I, I see a lot of places like that. In fact, I see that much more commonly than uh, a pharmacy that's literally just a pharmacy, you know? 
It either has a store or is inside of a store, like inside a Costco. More pills! Sweet! I guess somebody looted the pills and brought them over here and then died. Or maybe he turned into a zombie. It could be that they got their meds before. Why is this behind the sink? That's weird. Do 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 do. Whoop. Hello. Hello. Can I ask you a question? Thank you for killing him. I didn't want any witnesses to live after after uh, hearing that bad joke. Let's go. Got some good stuff. I'm I'm feeling good about this. I've got a I got a good feeling about this as as. Uh, Han says in the movie Solo. Oh, good, a point! Zombo point! Why did it make... Why didn't it say Zombo point earned? Was it, was it just making noise? I don't remember. It's, I've only found one once before. As far as on the ground. Out of my way. Wham. Ah, take this cane. I'm gonna cane ya! I'm gonna cane ya! Mmm! Take it! Oh, don't... No, don't bite me, dude. Come on. Just take the cane up your ass! Fuck you, zombie. Oh. Well, I snapped it off in his ass then, I guess. What do we got in here? Dead guy. Potato chips. A medicine bag. What is that supposed to be, like an IV bag? Uh, zombie. Uh, was it? Okay, nice chairs, though. I, too bad I can't sell them on the chair black market, since that is not a thing, and never was a thing. Get out of my way, other chair. Oh, man, I closed the door, but... Oh, man, I, oh, man, I just can't... Oh, man. Couldn't get my, uh, actions in order there. Hey! How's it going? Nice axe you got there. I'm gonna take it. Or, I'll let... I guess Kirby doesn't want it. Uh, then you... Oh, I have plenty of space. What am I thinking? Yeah, I'll just be the double axe man. There we go. I'll dual wield my hatchets. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be a dual wielding barbarian. I think they still have a spec for that. I don't remember if they, if it does. That, had, that was a thing in the past. I remember doing that in previous iterations of d and I don't know if it does that, but I think it's worth doing for anybody anyway, so you could build a Barbarian to do it. But I just recall that being like a, a thing, like maybe there was a spec for Barbarian that you also got dual wheel. I don't remember. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh wait, I resolved not to say that so much shit. <sighs> I gotta stop. I gotta stop. I really gotta stop doing that. Okay, that's pretty good. It's pretty, it's pretty decent. It's something. You can slow zombies down by dropping furniture in front of them, says me. My medical is shitty, but I'm, I guess I'm less shitty than the other guy. Uh, Mar finds it old, so I must still actually patch your marshmallows in the campground. Well, let's tell stories. We learn a lot about each other, but forget all about the marshmallows. Like, okay, I don't have good composure. Uh, my attitude's a little depressed. Loyalty is, is medium. Uh, Kirby is uh, really un uncomposed as well, but he's got a great attitude, and he's dumb as a rock. That sounds about right. But he's super loyal. Yeah, it definitely sounds like Kirby. It's so quiet here. There's no signs of life or unlife. It seems like everyone took what they could and evacuated this town immediately. Well, I think we should scavenge thoroughly. <laughs> The group combs the town for supplies left behind, but gets ambushed by a single zombie. Unfortunately, the zombie found Kirby first. Kirby is hurt! Kirby is hurt! He hurt twice. Ugh. No, we got supplies, though. Sorry about your zombie wounds, Kirby. We should try to set the zombies on fire more! Or is this way? Says Kirby. I don't know why the hell I did that voice, though. Oh, you to do Cockney accent. Now I'm terrible at it. Never mind. Uh, 24 food left. Trading time! I usually go anyway, even if I have no food, because I want to get pity. Hey, nice spear. The group meets a man wearing, wielding a homemade spear. Despite being a knife tied to a stick, it seems like it would be a really effective weapon. Nothing beats pole arms for zombie hunting. Uh, yes. In fact, I will buy one of those. Thank you. This is the latest model in zombie spearing design. Very easy to use, very tactical. The leverage also makes it about take take about half effort to attack with compared to most other weapons. Uh, thanks. Okay. I, I figured I knew that already. I mean, I played the game. That's why I knew that already. Eh. And then I don't. I'll carry a backup box. Yeah. Yeah. And you got your nice stick still. Good. Excellent. All right. Let's let's keep let's look at this other building. What's in here? Boxes. Oh, one of them, one of them, um, um, super trained dogs that stand on the back legs and can talk human language. As, you know, as you see around. 
A group finds a dog surrounded by a bunch of ammo. The dog speaks. Welcome to ammo, boy. Everybody must go. It offers five bullets, four rifle ammo, three shotgun shells per food item. That's pretty good, uh, but I don't want um, all my food. So here's a five. Here's a five of food. Thank you. Bye. Bye, buddy. Bye, Poochie. Bye, doggo. See you later. Ooh, this house is different. It's not red like the other two. Oh, uh, you are, Rebel. The group sees a gruff man near an ice cream truck, which he somehow got into this building. The words ice cream have been crossed off its sign with shotgun shells written in. He offers five shells for every food I didn't give him. Why don't I have a shotgun? So, no, thank you. And I already got some shells from that package deal with the dog, anyway. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, Kirby, let's hit the road. All right, smell you later, jerks. On the road again. Mm. Not enough meds. That one medical is just not enough. The group finds a new person, Lonzo. He is alone and wants to join the team. Uh, that mask makes him seem very suspicious, so I'm gonna just move on. Sorry, buddy. He's probably a creeper. I just don't trust him. Sorry. I mean, don't mean to be prejudiced, but he's walking around with that fan of the opera mask, and he's not being very convincing about being strong, as far as I'm concerned. The group will explore a small house where they notice that a horde is creeping nearby. Oh, hi, Gorman. How you doing? Nice to see ya. Okay, uh, where was I? The group will have to hold their ground for a bit before they can escape. Siege alert. There's no escape. It's late afternoon. Siege for one hour. Moderate size. This should be this should be a cakewalk. This should be a piece of a piece of pizza. Okay, murder. Oh wait, I forgot to switch him to murder mode. All right, all right, team of one other guy. Let's kill all the things. Go. Murder, 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 murder. Yeah, can I throw this table? I'm not strong enough to throw tables. Okay. Well, we'll just spear him. There's also no handy dandy back room or bathroom to hide in. So, I just have to do this legitimate way. There shouldn't be too many, though, in the house. Just a moderate size uh, siege. Let's stand back here. Maybe the zombies won't see us if we hide behind a couch or something. Yeah, there we go. Come on, over here. Let's get in real close to Kirby. There you go. Yeah, they, they'll never find us. Oh, oh, you, you blew our cover. You walked out. Come on, Kirby. What the heck? This guy. I mean, his wits were like the lowest stat rating that a uh, stat can be. It was that, like, that scrunch eye frowny face. I don't know how to describe that. Kill all the fuckers! Come on, fucking murder him! Kirby. Alright, no, he's actually doing well. Shouldn't be. I shouldn't be so critical. Yay, let's leave! I'm um, gonna put you on neutral again. There you go. Let's get out of here. Fuck these zombies. We don't need to kill all of them. Let's go. They don't even drop zombie loot. Ah, soothing tune. I need to get in my zombie splattering practice. It's very true. I do need to practice splattering zombies. The group feels inspired after managing to survive that situation. And they feel like they are getting the hang of this. Choose a reward. I think we both... I think, you know, I'm, I'm kind of getting pudgy. I think we both need fitness. Let's do it. Running from zombies all day is a great form of exercise. My fitness goes from the minimum to a little bit better, and so and Kirby goes from a little bit below, a little bit above minimum to meh, yay, and it's not a point. Can any human truly be too swole? Too swole to control, baby. Woo! I guess that's Kirby's voice now. It gets late and there's no great place to camp. Solo zombies hobble around in the far distance, and one might sneak up on the group while they're asleep. Who should step and watch? Mmm, Kirby. Kirby stands watch for roving zombies. He manages to stay awake, but feels groggy in the morning. Morale decrease. I'll take it to the next one. Maybe. Probably. Unless I forget or don't want to. Okay. Conserve your ammo. Something, something, something. The group comes across the house by the road. It's locked. While trying to smash the door down, a voice calls out, Hey, leave my door alone, you dinks! Kirby says, I'm not a dink! You are an especially huge dink, you dink! Kirby is infuriated and smashes the door for a while. The group ends up leaving shortly after. Kirby's attitude decreases. Or, yeah, decreases from super happy awesome to only kinda happy awesome. While driving on the death road, the group decides to make a stop. Ooh, you have a landing site! Sold! 
While driving through the woods, the group sees a UFO amidst the trees. Whoa! Watch out, there's someone moving near it or something. <clears throat> Massive horde near sunset two hours. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm totally outfitted for a huge siege of endless waves of zombies. There's, I don't even know why you would think uh, that there'd be a problem here because there's, there's certainly not. Um, do I need a flashlight for this? I don't think I need a flashlight for this. It's fine. Let's go. Let's do it. I'm, I'm excited. I have a great feeling about this. Nothing could possibly go wrong. Yeah, let's do it. Hey there, alien and man in black. How are, how are you both doing? I heard you needed some backup. Well, I guess the MIB doesn't really give a shit. He's just kind of hanging out. It's now, see, I don't know if this guy is really a human, the man in black. He's an expressionist man in a black suit. There are no aliens here. There is no such thing as aliens. Also, zombies do not exist. Well, I was going to say, I don't know if he's a real man in black or uh, an alien in disguise. Aliens exist for real. You knew it. I did know it. I'm very confident aliens exist. The alien is a little busy at the moment. Try talking later, if it survives the siege. Well, I sure hope he does, because he looks like a cool dude. And if he dies, I'll just pick up his laser gun. Which, interestingly enough, those la that laser gun uses gasoline for ammo. Yeah, I've had it before in my other playthroughs on mobile. You know, and that's kind of weird, in my opinion, but I guess there's not really much else that would make sense for it to use as ammo, besides if they use actual bullets, that wouldn't make sense either. Because it's a ray gun. Wow, this, this is actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I kind of thought we'd be overrun really fast, but it's really not that bad. I'm actually, <laughs> I'm actually not regretting going to this encounter. Wow. Amazing. And usually when I've had some mobile, the man in black died right away too, but this one seems a little more cautious. He's supposed to have a pistol, isn't he? He's supposed to be shooting the zombies? Maybe I'm yeah, mistaken. Look, dude, are you going to help? Agent, Agent K, are you going to help? He's just gonna sit there looking stern. I think he's just gonna sit there looking stern. Yeah, he doesn't even have a pistol. I, I could have sworn every time I had some mobile, the man in black had a pistol. Maybe it's random and I just got lucky. I don't know. He's, he is really just chilling. He doesn't care. He doesn't give any fucks about this situation. At least he's not neuralizing me and making me forget everything. So that's a plus. Bam! 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 Ow. Didn't actually hurt me, but he almost did. Zombie was getting a little grabby. Wait, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Kirby, are you are you unarmed? What happened? Oh, I forgot that you know Kung Fu. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, yeah. Keep keep uh, keep at it. You got it. Yeah, buddy! Can I talk to the alien now? Alien, yeah, yeah. Alien pokes Mar with a glowing finger. His brain is filled with information about how to open slightly more complicated unlocked car doors. This, the alien takes this opportunity to run away. Alright, well, he's gone. No ray gun for me, but uh, I think that means I can use his car. Hey, MIB, do you have anything new to say? I've never seen you alive at the end of this. Wait a minute, let's just kill these guys first. Is that all of them? Yeah, okay. Yo. No, I guess, I guess he doesn't. <laughs> he's not meant to live. <laughs> Door slides open when Mar touches it. This alien car is impressive already. Morale up! Let's get in that fucking UFO car. Aw, yeah, baby. Nah, I wanted like a like a sci-fi horn. Floor it! Yeah, things are looking good for me. I got like the best car in the game. We need more loot so we can do some more shooting, says me. This group explodes the campsite. They are ambushed by bandits. They ban they brandish makeshift weapons, they demand all your weapons. <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> Bandits weapons are crude, but they're still dangerous. Eh, slight injuries. Not a big deal. Probably would have hurt more if we weren't in a car. The group finds an empty spot along the road that looks as good for camping as any. The group eats a decent meal. Yeah, that is a very boring stop. I don't even know why I bothered reading it. Still not enough meds. We need to fix that. Very soon. The group sees a city in the distance with zombies crowding the streets. Getting back alive may be difficult. Thick swarm, calm afternoon. Probably fine. But uh, yeah, let's go to the police station. Might find some guns. Because we could probably really use guns. We have none of them. We have exactly none. And you keep that police baton because we're probably going to find another police baton. And if you break that police baton, you'll be able to replace it. 
That makes sense, right? Probably, maybe, possibly. All right. Hey, hey, there's zombies. How are you doing? Uh, we're just, just, you can just, just remain calm. I, I heard that you were calm. Just, just remain calm. We're just passing through. No need to get all uppity. Oh, that's a, that's a wall. Gotta go this way. It's just a little poke. Don't freak out. Oh shit! Boom. Okay. Woo. Yeah, I will leave these houses. I just want to go to the police station first. I need to report a crime! I don't know what crime. I'll, I'll think of something. Littering? Jaywalking? Something? I sure hope none of these zombies used to be police officers, because I wouldn't want to get in trouble for assaulting a, an officer with the law. Alright. Nothing else in the bathroom. Usually isn't, but I search them anyway. Bam, bam, bam. Oh! Here's all the, uh, desk job people. Excuse me? Oh, good, the, the cells. No, excuse no, pardon me, excuse me. Ow, fuck. Couldn't get by them. Alright, I guess I will have to murder some of these guys. Some more of these guys. And then good in here. Another bathroom, you say. Not even any toilet loot. Excuse me. Pardon me. Coming through. Out of my way. Thank you! Ah, there we go. Pipe bombs and a shotgun. That looks good. Let's just kill a few of these guys so they don't try to fuck with me. Out of the way. Just, 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 just die. Alright. Good, good. Now I got me a tactical shotgun. And some pipe bombs, which I will try really hard not to kill myself with. Oh, excuse me. Thank you, Kirby. You were right on top of that. I appreciate that. There was no more doors, right? Okay, so I can go back. Excuse me! Stop crowding me! Personal space required, okay? These zombies, they just don't respect boundaries. Yeah, it, yeah, it's kind of hard, uh, Gorman. It does, it is, it, I haven't won yet on this console. I've had it on mobile for a long time, and I've won five or six times, I want to say, over all the different modes. But, uh, that was over a long period of time. Uh, but yeah, I haven't won on PS4 yet, which is what I'm playing on right now. Doo -doo -doo. That's all we're gonna get, I think. Come on, Kirby, let's get out of here. Buttville. <laughs> These houses will have very little loot because they weren't the main attraction. Oh, good! Potato chips! Yum! Yep, okay, this kitchen already made it worth it to look at the houses. Excuse me. Alright. I'm just gonna take this chair. As ammunition. Wham! Uh, okay, did hit him. I thought I was gonna whiff it. <laughs> what do we got? Meds, good. I need those real bad. I don't need to kill the rest of these guys. Ah, uh, and we, I mean, unfortunately, we didn't find a second uh, police baton. Oh, good. Zombo point. Some meds, some food. Those, that pink thing was knitting needles, which I do not want. Bullets for the rifle. The riffle. Excuse me, zombie. Josh. He did not seem very calm. I thought they were supposed to be calm. Bam. Oh, good. A box. And a toilet with some loot in it as well. One more med. Good. One gasoline. Good. My car will be powered by farts. Ah, it's not the point. And meds. And bullet. And that. Good. This is actually turning out really good. Excuse me. Don't get grabby. I don't appreciate that. Okay. Well, that's, that's it for this house. One more house to go and then we'll get the hell out of here. Because the sun is setting. It's 5.55p. We were 11 days from Maple Leaf. Let's go this way. Bam! No. No, nothing in there. Okay. Left room? Oh, excuse me. Alright, we got a med. Okay. Stock it up on... Ooh, okay. A lot of chairs in this room. Stocking up on meds, very good. That's what I was gonna say. Mmm, nice ice cold pistol bullets. That's exactly what we needed. At least they had the foresight to uh, freshen up their, or keep keep their bullets fresh in the fridge. Ah, fuck you! Don't touch me. Is there any more room in here that I might have missed? No. Okay. Oh God, he just—they're just flying through the door. Wow. They're getting all pushy, and shoving each other. I think is what's going on. Box eleven bullet. Nothing on that. I thought the pals were flashed, but it must have been the uh, film grain effect. 
scrap, kill me, scratch. Okay, nothing in that bathroom. All right, Kirby, let's get the fuck out of here, like I said. I keep my word. Well, you know, usually, when I can. The car was down here, right? It was two streets we went by? Oh, shh. Is, oh, okay, alright, alrighty, okay, no, excuse me, pardon me, excuse me, pardon me, coming through, uh, no, I need to get, uh, get my car, okay, oh, man, Kirby, Oh, he died, no, I'm all alone, shit, guess I should have, like, cleared out some of those zombies instead of just pushing through them, oops, well, that sucks, No more martial arts with the mysterious past, unfortunately. Oh no. Mara finds that he really has to sneeze. The feeling is drags on, but there's no sneeze. This may turn into one of those times the sneeze is lost. Combined with the pressures of the Zombocalypse, this could be blah, blah, blah. This could break my morale. Well, how about I uh, snort some spicy food? That sounds like a good idea. Yeah, super spicy chips. <sighs> Mara accidentally sneezes into the bag. He may as well eat the entire bag of chips now. All right. Try to conserve your ammo, I say to myself. Attack only when you have to. Good idea, me. I'll do that. Thank you. Mar finds an inn, open for business. The owner wrings her hands. Give me ten food. I'll watch over you while you sleep. <laughs> she is super creepy. Nah, she's probably fine. Pay the food. I pay to night in the inn. It's comfortable. No one wants zombies creeping while they're sleeping. <laughs> and she serves up an amazing breakfast. See, you should always trust creepy women in hotels. Me Maybe not always. Morale up! Hooray. I'm in good spirits, despite the fact my friend from Florida got eaten by zombies. Keep your eyes open, friends. It's just suspicious, I say to my invisible friend. Five bandits ambush Mar while he is about to sneak into a zombie-infested house. The bandits speak in a half-whisper, afraid to attract undead attention. They say to hand them over some supplies or they'll yell. You're bluffing! Mar calls the bandits bluff. One of the bandits yells, and chaos erupts as the zombies swarm out. Escape was messy. Dang! They were telling the truth. Okay, I don't have enough meds to heal myself. Same old story. While driving on the death road, Mar decides to make a stop. Oh, well, I mean, how can you ever turn down a flashing text? You just have to do it. Spooky graveyard! Mar drives past the graveyard. There's not many zombies there, yet it feels ominous to a cartoonish extent. Faintly, off to the north, spooky goblin laughter can be heard. Thick swarm, they're calm, timed by a new watch, which I believe means it's going to be night permanently. Search for goblin. That's what I'm doing. That's that's totally what I'm doing. That's that's not at all. It's not at all that I'm going in here to fight zombies and perhaps free a vampire from a crypt. Except that is what I'm doing. So I, I think I'll take the shotgun in case shit hits the fan. I just need to have one slot open to pick up a shovel. Yeah. Oh, those trees didn't know what they were doing. They were on top of the fence. Alright, let's boogie. Okay, gotta find me a shovel. There's gotta be one around here somewhere. Because it's a graveyard and, you know, they gotta dig the graves or something. There we go! Shovel! Good, perfect. This plan is going exactly according to itself. You know, it's going according to plan. What's this got? There may be a goblin hiding in here. The shovel could probably throw open. Do it! Oh! Mar opens up the mausoleum, which seems like a horrible idea in the Zombocalypse. Something emerges from the tomb as Mar opens it. I hope it's a goblin! Oh, no, it's Count Dracula. Hey, it's Dracula! Hi, Dracula! Blah, blah! Mar never thought he'd meet a celebrity. He doesn't find doing some. He doesn't mind doing some of his catchphrases. Count Dinkula's fitness is awesome. Should I recruit him? Fuck yes! Yay! Count Dinkula joins the team. Onward to Canada. Don't worry, Count Dinkula. I'm sure. In Canada, with the free healthcare, they'll find a cure for your vampirism. I mean, if, if that's what you want. I mean, I don't know. Maybe you like being a vampire. Let's go. That's all we could possibly need here. I don't need to look anywhere else. Goodbye. Three zombies destroyed. So how's being a vampire, anyway? Whoa, it's Maggie. Nice to see a familiar face. She is fighting a single zombie, and then suddenly trips and falls down in an awkward mistake. She gets really embarrassed when she notices a group. Uh, well, she's a nice person, so let's go. Come on along. Onward to Canada. I hope it doesn't rain. It seems to irritate the zombies. Oh, really? You learned that when you were caught in that mausoleum? 
The groups camped for the night off a quiet stretch of the road. The group didn't have nearly enough food to eat. Doubt festers. Oh no. We gotta find food! In the morning, there's a moose outside the camp. It looks injured and is just glaring at the group. Even injured, a moose is a really powerful creature. Count Dinkula wrestles the moose and maybe sucks all its blood out, which would be cool. Count Dinkula wrestles the moose! Arms locked with hooves in a test of strength and willpower! He wins the pointless contest! It's a triumph over nature. The moose seethes over its loss and saunters away. Count Dinkula strength up and morale increase. Good work. Do you know why they call him the Count? Because he likes to count. Oh no, Maggie. No. The group finds a radio station. The broadcasting group is hooked up to a gas generator with a small amount of fuel left. There's enough power to get out one message to anyone that may hear it. Who should send it? Maggie, because she's charming. Maggie broadcasts a helpful message. Eh, oh. Everybody but me is a nerd! Loyalty revealed to be poopy. Morale increases. Mm. And then my morale and Count Dinkula, Dinkula's morale decreases because that was not a helpful message. Yes, indeed! There was a moose, and we triumphed over it with the power of the undead. I can't wait. Ah, oh, shit. I didn't read it fast enough, sorry. Group keeps making progress, blah, blah, blah. No food. Trader camp. Well, let's go and hope for some pity items. I sure like pity items. Whoa, what the fuck? Is that you, Ravel? I mean, Climb? Shit. I'm supposed to use his screen name. Climb is hanging around the camp. Um, I can recruit him, but I have no food, so more people with still not having any food is probably a bad idea, so you stay here where it's safe, Climb, okay? Don't go wandering out. Oh, the bard! Oh, we're at the Ren Fair again! Oh, I wish I had food. Shit. Oh, right. She can buy weapons. Uh, it's my only gun, though. Ah, I don't know what to do. It's my only gun. What else do we got? Uh, a broom. Okay, Maggie. Nobody wants that broom, okay? Uh, I got... Well, this girl might buy hatchets, maybe. I don't know if that's true, but let's find out. I know she doesn't buy, like, most of the regular weapons, like crowbars and knives and such. Oh, well, she also might buy pipe bombs. That's... That might be true. Let me... Let me let's bring all that stuff. Let's find out. Come on. Do, 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 Hello. Yes. Oh. Okay, she doesn't want any of it. Great. She doesn't want any of the items I'm willing to sell. Okay, well. Fuck that then. Oh, I mean, I still could sell the shotgun, but I kind of want to keep a gun. Especially because that's a pretty good shotgun. But we're all starving, so I don't know what to do. It's a conundrum. Ugh. I know you would think you could we could have got we could have carved up that moose, but no. All right, you can you can hang on to your broom for a while, Maggie. It's fine. Uh, yeah, shit. I really don't want to sell my shotgun. All right, sorry guys, we're not gonna we're gonna continue to starve because I, I just can't part with the shotgun. All right, and and I, I see you eyeing my neck, Count Dinky. Though you better watch yourself. I let you out of that crypt. You better not betray me. All right, let's go. Woo! Don't always get every recruit unless we have lots of food. There you go. That's exactly why I didn't recruit Climb this time. The group runs into a horde too thick to drive past and gets cornered. They run for a good place to hide, fight in a siege, but the nearby buildings all look ruined. They are in a bad spot to fight. Crap. All right. Well, I better bring these pipe bombs because I think shit is gonna hit some fans right about now. Like. And you know what? I'm gonna count Dinkula, even though he's got his vampire claws. I'll give him an axe just as a backup. He might want to use it. I don't know. I don't know how the damage compares between claw and axe. Yeah, it is. It's actually it's a UFO car that I got from a special alien encounter. Okay, so we got spear, shotgun. Yeah, this is all I can really do. I hope we survive. Right, good luck, team. Let's do it. Oh yeah, he does want to use the axe. Good. Oh, nope. This house has nothing good in it. Just going to try to juke these zombies a little bit here. Alright. Gotta make sure my friends don't get cornered, though. You guys heaping up? Alright. Oh, shit. Oh, no more houses. Okay, that was our only option, then. Let's go back. Heading back. Come on. Back up. Back it up. Back it up. I'm gonna blow these guys up. Get back over here, guys. Oh, shit. Get away from the bomb. Get away from the bomb. There you go. Yeah, we're, we're gonna we're gonna be fine. 
this, this, uh, this level sucks. It's really crappy, but, you know, we'll be fine, though. I'm sure this is, this is gonna go great. We got plenty of ammo. I still got one more pipe bomb left, I think. Wasn't really paying attention. Oh, Maggie, no, Maggie! Come on, oh, shit! Maggie! Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck, no! Oh, okay, well, I'm dead. Uh, so I will take the role of Count Dinkula. Blah! Blah! Oh, good, we can escape now. Blah! Oh, I was hitting him with a shotgun? Whoops. Alright, well, let's go. Come on, Maggie. Don't worry about the protagonist. <laughs> well, I'm dead, so that's great. Uh, but these things happen, so... No sense crying over spilled blood. So now Count Dinka has a shotgun. And Maggie has a spear. Excellent. She was smart enough to grab it. Thank you, Maggie. Good work. You don't need that broom anymore. There we go. Perfect! Hope we don't run into any more bandits. Well, I agree. I'm with them in spirit now. Yeah, clown. I never had the clown. Clowns are weird. Um, but you, you normally when you just have a dog left, you can continue because the dog gets the super trained stat and can use his weapons and stuff. But I guess maybe if they leave before the mission, it doesn't do it. Anyway, the group feels inspired. They managed to survive that situation. <laughs> Even though Mar died. Okay, well, uh, morale and skill. Yeah. Yeah. Count Dinkula is really happy. Maggie's slightly less sad. Mechanical up for Count Dinkula, and Maggie's even more fit. Goody good. Good. Excellente. Cans of food are the new money. Cash isn't as nutritious. The group says up camp late. On the nearby highway is a bunch of abandoned cars. They're broken, but many should have a little bit of gas. Mm, whoever get, well, goes to Siphon won't get sleep. Yeah, I know. Favoritism, right? No, I think she was more injured, though. Uh, let's see... Maggie, you up for it? Maggie siphons the gas, but accidentally swallows a bit and gets really, really sick that night instead of sleeping. Which is what happens. Well, we got 40 of gas, so I think it's worth it. And we still have no food, so Maggie's probably in trouble. Because, you know, Count Dinkula's probably a vampire. He's definitely a vampire. While driving the car, Maggie gets into a big argument with Count Dinkula. Let's take a break. The group stops the car and slips camp near the road so that Maggie and Count Dinkula can get some space. This works, but it wastes a day. Still no food. Morale goes down. Things are getting shitty. The mystery of the ghost fart. It's just another day on the death road when someone farts in the car. Drama and mystery consume the team. Pick someone to blame. Vampire fart. Count Dinkula is blamed for a fart. The smell lingers. Was it he the real culprit? Who can say? <laughs> Mystery parts. When a siege happened, you have to go all out, and the music got louder for some reason. Maggie sneaks off. Uh, Maggie sneaks off when Count Dinkula is busy. She is a true weasel who steals the keys for the car, intending to take everything for herself. She drives off with most of the supplies. Maggie, why? That was uh, that was like the best car in the game. Fine. I don't need you. I don't need a car. I'm an awesome vampire. Uh, somehow, even though I don't have a car anymore, I drive to a new city. Noises from the car that I don't have have already started to draw attention from the undead. Okay. Uh, well, think, uh, since I'm all alone, I might as well go to the apartment that has a dog in it. And recruit the dog. Well, she didn't just take most of the supplies. She took, like, everything I had in the car. And then, like, most of the bullets. She only left me with some bullets. At least I got to keep the bullets and one med, so that's something. Alright, anyway, let's go. Sally forth! Blah! I'm here to find a dog! Count Dinkula has a special ability, if I recall correctly, that when he's hit, he turns into a bat. Or I think it's like only when he's on his last bit of health. When he would get hit, he turns into a bat and, fly, and can fly really fast, but then it only lasts for a limited amount of time. And I think it only works once per mission. But ideally, I won't get hit at all, and it won't matter. Fuck you! Out of the way, zombie! Okay, no dog in the bathroom. Maybe... Ah, medical. Good. Excellent. Fuck you! Bam! You don't call me Vlad the Impaler for nothing. Except he's got an axe, so he's really more Vlad the Chopper right now. 
Ah, it's a dog, and it's a Great Dane, too. Excellent. The dog seems unusually tame. Most dogs that are still alive have become feral at this point. This dog seems eager to see humans. I guess he doesn't know what a vampire is, then, if he thinks I'm a human, but that's fine. Let dog follow me. Delano starts following Count Dinkula. He could be useful if you can get him out of here alive. Or any distraction if you can't. Well, I mean, I'm gonna try. Come, uh, name a forgotten dog. Let's go. I immediately forgot the name after I read it. It was Delu Deluca or something? D Del Deli Meat? I don't remember. Something. Something with a D. I feel like. Junk. Take this junk box! More junk. I do not approve of all these junk boxes! Uh, nothing in the bathroom. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Chop! Hey, look, a bone. Ah, good doggy. I knew he'd like that bone. I got that bone. Okay, let's go. Out of here. See, dogs can pick up one item and carry it in their mouth, but when they attack, they drop it. Unless they get super trained. Oh, a zombie all by himself. Well, I'll, I'll put him on his misery. There we go. Oh, jeez. Well, I guess this is your house. Sorry. Anybody in here? Yes, there are, but I'm just gonna move on. Ooh. A gas in the toilet! Hooray! Yep. Chop! Vampire chop! Vampire dodge! Vampire table throw! Wham! Chop! Okay. Let's see here. No, just a fancy bedroom. Oh, another toilet I can loot. Out of the way. Oh, a health spray. Sweet. Gonna go pick that up. Yeah, perfect. One of them, one of them, uh, you know, um, disinfectant sprays. Yeah, that probably was a bad idea to let her drive, let Maggie drive her after she had no sleep. That's probably where we went wrong. We probably should have thought of that better. But sadly, we did not. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Chop. They're getting a little, they're getting a little aggressive. Let's, I think maybe, I think maybe I'm gonna not loot every room. Get this filing cabinet out of my way. Blah. Ah, I meet Cleaver, but I don't need it. I have an axe. Oh God. Okay. Well, okay. Well, we need to get the fuck out of here right now. Yeah. Let's just, let's just hit the road. I, I'm feeling like we're not welcome here. Let's go. Where, where did I park? Oh, did I, wait. Oh, I don't have a car, right? Yeah, that's what it was. I was like, where did I park the car? <laughs> right, because Maggie stole my car. I can't stay mad at her, though. She's, pretty, she's a pretty cool person. She did what she had to do. She was stranded in a strange car. She was, well, she was stranded in a UFO car with a dra with a known vampire, and there was no food, so she, she did what she had to do. Let's go. Delano catches up with Count Dinkula at a safe spot. He seems like he wants to stick around. Well, yeah, that's why I went there. Recruit Delano to the team. Go team vampire and dog. Onward to Canada. While trekking through the woods, the group gets pretty lost. If they keep going on like this, they'll waste a lot of time. Yeah, that dog is adorable, isn't he? Um, Count Dinkula climbs a tree to look around. Count Dinkula decides to climb a tree, even though he could just turn into a bat and fly. Uh, he climbed a tree with a little effort. It's a fun exercise. He spots something in the distance. Morale increase. Yay! After a long hike, the group finds a nice clearing to set up camp. The weather is nice and the group is able to rest peacefully, low on food, and eat less. Fine. The group walks to a junkyard with a car pulled up to it in front of it. The car looks like it'll run and will be the last one you see for a while. Thick swarm, but they're calm and it's morning. Good thing Count Dinkula doesn't burst into flame in the sun. That would be inconvenient. Put this health spray away, because you don't need it right now. The dog didn't pick anything up. Let's go. Chop. Okay. So the way this works when you, is there's, there are keys to this car somewhere. It's locked up. Oh, it's an SUV. Oh, yeah. This car looks like it's in really good condition. But where are the keys? Oh, wait. Count Dinkula can just hotwire it, I guess. I'm gonna leave it be for now. If I can't find the keys, I'll hotwire it. But I want to get some loot anyway, so not a big deal. But yeah, usually the keys are out in the back of the junkyard somewhere. Uh, I think I, I think maybe once or twice I actually found it in the building, so I'm gonna check. Anyway, there's gas in here, so that's good. And a fridge. Yay, three cans of something. Let's go. Ah, oh, jeez. 
I'm, nah, we don't need to. We don't need to bother with those guys. Come on, DeLuca. Was it DeLuca? What is it? I can't. Delano. Come on, Delano. I don't know why you wanted to call him DeLuca. Okay, what's in this junkyard? Zombies and junk. I should have known. Eat cinder block. Wait, I can't pick it up. Eat cinder block. Bam! Oh, yeah, that's nice. It penetrates through all of them. Cinder blocks are good for throwing. There are those keys. I also like how they're like bright plastic colored keys like you would give to a baby. This is a set of keys. Complete. Include some car keys. Count Dicula picks it up. Bam. I want to smack you with a pipe! Oh, it's pretty tiring to swing this pipe. Oh, you know what else? Maggie also had the spear, too. She took that, that weapon's awesome. Oh, well. Again, she did what she had to do. Honestly. If I was in her shoes, I would have done the same thing. Six rifle bullets. Chop. Sadly, my, the ghost of me was tied to Count Dinkula, so I have to follow his adventure instead of Maggie's adventure. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Let's get in that SUV and get the fuck out of here! The keys fit perfectly. Count Dinkula unlocks the car door. Let's go! See you later, jerks! Lauren! That's a lot of loot. SUVs are pretty cool. They eat, they chew up gas like crazy, and uh, some other thing. They can't go off jumps very good, but they are well armored. They take a lot of damage before they break down. So anyway, the group gets out in a pro shop near the golf course. Count Dinkula looks out the window and sees the large group of zombies approaching from the driving range. Oh no! Well, um, Count Dinkula Hotwire is a golf ball collector. He jumps into a golf ball collector and starts running over zombies. It's surprisingly effective. By the time the collector breaks down, most of the zombies are taken care of. Morale up. Mechanical is awesome. And it increases into the maximum awesomeness. Awesome. Cool. Good. I like it. Groupie's decent meal. Delano falls asleep. Aw, adorbs. Let me just update this thing real quick. I still haven't linked this up to, Steve, to Streamlabs. But I will, I totally will, I swear. But in the meantime, where the heck is it? Too many sources. There it is. Let me just, let me just, let me just update this real quick here. Uh huh. Let me just quickly fix that number there so it's the right updated information. There we go. All right. Thank you, Gorman seven eight eight seven has followed. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I need all the follows I can get. Okay. Anyway, back to the thing. Yeah. While driving on the death road, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. Well, I'm gonna say the grocery store, because we need food. Yeah. The group finds a grocery store. Zombies wander inside, as if guarding the remaining food. But why would they do that? Moderate size swarm, but they are irritated, and it's late morning. Let's go shopping. I'm gonna put this pipe away, because I don't need it. You're a dog. Alright, I just like to check that he's not holding something. Because sometimes they will pick up an item and get in the car before they drop it. All right, moving on. I want to buy some groceries. I have the cards. I will get all the groceries now. I hope they have tomato soup. Shit! Oh, there we got you. All right, let's that. Oh, good dog, dog. Good dog, Delano. He looted that right off the right off the shelf for me, so I didn't have to do it. Aw, oh, there's a dead dog in here. Don't look, Delano. Just focus on killing zombies. Yeah, good dog. Good boy. Alright, let's get out of here before he sees that dog skeleton and gets... Oh, wait, I left the food. I was gonna say, let's get out of here before he sees the dog skeleton and gets all depressed. But he found himself a femur, so he must be happy again. Yeah, there's nothing worse than having a depressed dog. I mean, okay, there are worse things than that. Get away from my potato chips, zombies! It's mine. And my cereal box. And you know what? Everything's mine. Just everything. Look, oh, the spine on the floor. Clean up! Aisle Z! Did I just pick up that bone? I did not mean to pick up that bone. I'll just hit zombies with it, I guess. You know what? I'm gonna trade the bone to the dog. There you go. That's what you need to do when that happens. Perfect. 
Delano, look. Okay, buddy. Buddy. Now he's on defend. Okay, I was gonna say, he's being too aggressive, he's gonna get himself hurt, but, uh... He's actually on defensive right now, I don't know why he's freaking out so much. Out of the way, Delano, please. Honestly. Also, I don't know why dogs have a claw attack. I would have thought they would have a bite attack, but whatever. Oh shit. Okay, well, this is getting a little bit a little bit hairy. Okay, let's go. Come on. Delano, come on. Delano, no! Ah, fuck. He's dead. Well, that's my bad. I guess I guess I'm not ready to have a pet right now. I'm I'm too much of an irresponsible undead count. Alas. Okay, we got some poop gas. Good. Yeah, I know. Rip, rip Delano. Seriously, he's in doggy heaven now. Yeah, you can pick up cards. You just can't push them, which is funny. See that shopping cart rampage? Bam! Let's get the hell out of here. It kills my dog. Oh, he broke. He broke it. He broke the, 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 the card. He broke it. Oh, whatever. Smell you later, jerks. I am out. Hmm. Count has count has meh level morale right now. A sea of cars blocks the road ahead. The pileup is so bad that there is no obvious way through. Well, I'm in an SUV, so aggressive off-roading. Count Dinky that plows through the shoulder near the road. It's going fine until the car slams into a rock. Composure revealed to be the poopiest. Morale decreases from meh to mm. Count Dinkula is hurt. Well, that's what happens. And he doesn't have enough med supplies to heal himself, which is weird because he has three. I guess his skill is just really shitty. The drive to Canada used to take a few days at most. The apocalypse filled the roads with debris, hordes of zombies, and lots of stranded cars. It's now a long trip. Count Dinkula runs to a trading camp with 13 food left. Cool. Coolio. Welcome to the Fence of Values! Uh, thank you. Well, let's see. This derp-eyed individual can possibly train me in medicine. Count Dinkula finds a woman surrounded by medical equipment. She claims to be a skilled doctor. She offers to provide health care to- Oh, she actually- No, she just heals. She doesn't teach medical. Uh, I'm, I'm fine. Also, I'm undead anyway, so I think you might freak out if you examine me. Count Dinkula meets a woman who's covered in hammers. They hang from several tool belts and bandoliers. Can I tell you a secret? I love blood weapons. I'll sell you my spares cheap. Uh, nah, I don't think it's hammer time. You have bullets, which I don't have a pistol, so it doesn't matter. Ah, always Bergen. This man is selling anime and anime accessories from a converted food truck. I'm doing my part to keep civilization together one anime sale at a time. I'm going to go ahead and tell him to cool it. Count Nikita tells the anime trader to cool it. Also, anime isn't real. Also, anime isn't real. There's no way he could take this well. No, you're wrong. Stop it. No. He enters the truck and then peels out in anger and confusion. The other traders are shocked. Count Dinkula's attitude revealed to be poop and not very witty. Count Dinkula is forced to flee the trader camp. Fine. There wasn't much I needed anyway from them. I need to use the bathroom. You're a vampire, though. Okay, whatever. Uh, Count Dinkula sitting around the campfire, finding this campsite was rough, so he is getting in a bad mood. Well, let's plan out tomorrow. Mm. Turns out the Count Dinkula isn't that great at planning things at all. Oh yeah, because his wits are low. Shit. Morale decrease. I've lived for thousands of years, but I can't plan anything. This is some bull crap. I don't even like driving an SUV. The road ahead has been flooded out, but it looks like the car could maybe still get through it. Count Dinkula decides to... Well, I know SUVs are shitty off jumps, so... Plow through! Mm. Count Dinkula decides to take the chance and plow the car through the flooded road. The car gets through, but takes some damage. It's probably still fine. Let's take a look. Uh, okay, the chassis is actually down to the last bubble. So, that might break. But the engine's still okay. Count Dinkula skulks around going blah for some reason. Because he's a freaking vampire, obviously. Oh, yeah, and he's hurt. I guess next mission I should take out my healing spray. And then spray myself with it. I hate fighting at night. It's best to leave early. Okay, what the fuck? You're not acting like a vampire at all, Count Dinkula. The car is completely run out of gas and coasts to a stop. Oh, right. I was gas. Right, because it guzzles gas. Okay. Forgot to even look at my gas count. 
Codinculus spots a bakery van that is broken down the side of the road. The van is irre irreparable. That's that word. The bread is moldy and inedible, but there are some sugary cakes that are still good. Morale increase and four food. Cool. Pretty good. Count Dinkula enjoys his donuts. Count Dinkula spots an old boot on the road. It doesn't look like it's good anyone's size, but hey, it's free. This is surely a symbol of good luck. Yeah, let's get that boot. Free boot! Count Dinkula sees the dirt road stretch out into the distance. There are a lot of wrecked cars and a lot of zombies. At the end is one car that looks like it might start. Very thick swarm, but they're calm, and it's the afternoon. Yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Oh, there's that boot. Oh, it's a throwing boot. Cool. Okay. Well, anyway, first bit order of business is to heal myself. Not with a shotgun, though. Okay, walk into that little pink spray. There we go. Perfect. Now I'm all healed up. The magic of modern medicine. I'm gonna go ahead and just... Oh, not... No, not that. Okay, shot... there were shotgun shells in there. Cool. Thought it was going to be gasoline, but who cares? I'll just, oh, more shotgun shells. They usually have gasoline in them. Okay, that's all, that's food. Okay. I could have sworn these usually have, you know, usually when you get one of these encounters, there's gas in the cars. Oh well. Oh, police car. Now I get to be Count Dracula PD. Magnum PI. Start the car. Let's go. Whee! Vampire police! Whoa, it's Eddikins! Nice to see a familiar face. He is being thrown out by his former group. They seem pretty angry. Eddikins shrugs. You know, that would be his reaction, I think. He's practical and afraid of dog. Well, come on, Eddikins, let's go. One of my mm. friends, one of my good friends. I don't know how... Because he lives in California, so he... Oh, man, he must have gotten... He came really far. If we're going from Florida to Canada by presumably going north, not going, like, all the way across the country, he must have gotten pretty far close to the East Coast. Jeez. Wonder why he was doing that. Should've just gone to Canada. A deer has stopped in the middle of the road. It stares at the car. Eddikins tries to shoot it. Eddikins takes a shot at the deer from one of the car windows. He makes the shot, bagging the deer while also going against any sense of hunter ethics. Eddikins shooting increases! The group doesn't know much about preserving game, but they clumsily cook some meat to pack into the car. Eight food acquired. Good job, Eddie. Good job. Shooting revealed to be meh. I guess I'll give him the shotgun then. Oh yeah, he must have gotten super lost if he ended up over here, yeah. Uh, let's rescue somebody from a cabin, because I've had mall rescues go bad very often. Like, they even glitch out sometimes. Well, I mean, maybe it's been fixed since then, but I've had it happen. Cabin rescue! So now... Okay, driving along a normal road, the group hears gunfire coming from a cabin in the distance. The forest near the cabin ripples with the movement of an unseen horde. Siege alert! There's no escape! Massive horde! Late morning, one hour. Alright, so anyway... Put the med, put the uh, med spray away for now. We're okay, we're good. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take the automatic shotgun away from the vampire and give it to my good friend Eddie, who I will be playing as. He had a knitting needle. That's the weapon he had. It was a knitting needle. All right. Uh, anyway, and I'm gonna also give him a golf club. There we go. Perfect. And you don't, you can just use the axe, Captain Kill. You'll be fine. Actually, you know what? No, no. I'll give you a golf club too. Because they're, they're, they're fast weapons, but they break pretty easily. So he can, he'll probably use it over the axe and then break it and then go back to the axe. Okay. Let's see what Edikin's little status message is. Edikin's twiddles his thumbs near constantly. Yeah, I guess we, if you don't have a laptop or a cell phone um, anymore, that he probably doesn't have anything interesting to do. So he's probably bored a lot. All right, let's go. Boop. Oh wait, I'm still Count Dinkula. Forgot to actually. Bam! There we do it. Now I'm Eddie. Count Dinkula's having fun outside. It looks like. Yeah, this horde is nothing. This horde is nothing. Oh, okay, well they're busting in the roof, but uh, they're still not that bad. Hey, how's it going? Courtney says that she really wants to get out of this place. She asks if she can follow you, and she's got a huge wrench. Yeah, sure. I mean, I came here to, to save whoever was here, so let's do it. What's in your toilet? A gas. Should have known. Let's just look, close this door, let the zombies tire themselves out. You know, just. Oh, okay, well, we gotta take care of these ones. Uh, and also, I'm gonna put everybody on fighting mode, so they'll go and kill them faster. Or. Or Count Dinkula will get stuck on the zombie that glitched behind the shelf. That could also be what happens. I think it's shotgun time! 
I think it's shotgun time. Okay. Shotgun time is now over. For now. Good job, team. Okay, what the fuck? These zombies are definitely like... This, actually, this is a glitch. This must be a known glitch, because they, they keep appearing through the closed door. They're supposed to break it down first. I had this happen last time I played. It's total bullcrap. Like, the ones falling through the ceiling, that's normal, but some of those zombies are just, like, slipping under the door somehow. It doesn't make sense. Clear them out! Okay, shotgun's coming back out. But blam, son! Come on, guys. We gotta clear out the rest of these zombies. Courtney, you can help, you know. You could really help. Alright, there we go. That should be all the zombies. Oh. Some of them didn't leave yet. Let's clear that out. Oh, one of them came back. Normally they all, like, despawn if, if you're in a different room when siege ends. Maybe that's something that got changed in a patch. Well, now I got a pistol, which is cool, because, uh... Eddikins apparently has not terrible shooting skill. And away we go. Yes, please. Back to the road. Sick of the zombies destroyed. Courtney catches up with the group. Let's see. I'm going to recruit her to the team. Yes. Yes. The group accepts Courtney to the team. Onward to Canada. Food supplies are pretty good right now, actually, but I gotta make sure we don't go overboard with the recruits. Yeah, nice medical use there, Eddie. After a long drive, the group finds a safe place to camp. Good. Moving on. Keep an eye out for a sweeter car, says Eddikins. What, you don't like the squad car? Man. The group loots a dentist office, finding some leftover medical supplies and many technically edible tubes of toothpaste. Courtney goes into the waiting room and grabs a magazine from the sparse collection. Let's see, which magazine should I choose? Questionable science. Courtney feels pessimistic about the magazine's prediction of flying hover cars in a few years. Now that civilization is more or less destroyed. It's still a pretty entertaining magazine, though. She's got a good attitude, which now has gotten lower. But she's got food and medical supplies. Good, good, good. Let me just update this again, because again, it's still not hooked up to Streamlabs, but someday I'll have this all set up. I'll import it all over. But yeah, things looking up. Oh, yeah, I should read off the name. Uh, Hirohoro88. Thank you for following. I appreciate it. Or maybe it's Hirohoro. Or something like that. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, we're almost out of gas. Oh, we are out of gas. The group continues to make progress off the death road. Mm hmm. 25 food left. Trader camp. We rolled in just as the gas ran out. Why are you- Oh, it's Steve! I mean, uh, Roald. Shit! Roald is hanging out around camp. No, I'm gonna leave him here. I can't in good conscience recruit him when I didn't recruit Climb. This woman is decked out in sweet bra- uh, sweat- <laughs> Sorry. This woman is decked out in sweatbands, limb warmers, and garish exercise clothes. Only the fittest will survive in this zombie field world! I can help you get fit fast! She's continuously running in place this whole time. You have 25 food left. Uh... Yeah, we we could all be we could all stand to be fitter. Entire group gets fitness training. Courtney's fitness revealed to be poopy, and and cool. Eddie's fitness was even worse. By now they're up slightly. Good. The group finds a man claiming to be a traveling medicine salesman. He's carrying two suitcases full of medical supplies. Uh, how many meds do I have? Five. Nah, I think we're good. No thanks. I think I'm fine with five. That's, that's gonna be fine. And there's nobody at the camp part, so that's it. Oh, oh, the dumpster, dumpster man, I forgot. Hey, dumpster man! The group finds a dumpster. It's locked tight with a slot inside. The there are weapon names and prices scrawled near the hole. Just drop the food in here, says a tiny voice in the dumpster. Thirteen food left. I don't need any grenades right now, though. I'm good. Bye. Bye. I'm leaving. All right, Steve. Uh, I mean, rolled. Shit, rolled. You can hang out by this mullet gullet truck. Don't go wandering off. I'm sure you'll be fine. Maybe Climb will catch up. Maybe Climb is going along the road, and he'll catch up to you, and you guys can team up. That's how it's going to work, yeah. All right, see ya. Maybe the Peppers were onto something after all. I think so, yeah. 
The car is completely out of gas, as I knew it would. Power abandoned. Now we gotta get do some legwork here. The group is ambushed while crossing a rickety bridge over a river. The bandits demand a toll. Fuck you! Here's a fight. The group knows that every single one of their supplies are essential for their chances of reaching Canada, so they fight. Everyone gets hurt. It's fine, we have five medical supplies. While walking through the woods, Count Dinkula doesn't pay attention to where he's going and falls into a deep puddle of water. His gear is fully submerged, putting supplies in danger. Well, they don't call him Count Dinkula for nothing, right? We lose two food, two medical, ten pistol ammo, fifteen rifle ammo, seven shotgun ammo, and Count Dinkula rightfully gets sad about it. Now his cape's all wet, too. Run it all over! While walking along the outskirts of town, Count Dinkula finds a small sporting goods store. It's picked clean of loot. Thinking all is lost, Count Dinkula spots an old SUV in the back of the store. And, uh, yeah, I already know. SUVs have crappy gas mileage and are slow. They also aren't very... They're also... Or, they're also very durable. They are durable. And break down slowly. Just don't bother taking it off jumps. Start it up! We're just polluting the shit out of everything. Which is fine, you know. Society's gone and everything, but... Well, I mean, the Earth isn't... No, I mean, that's not okay, because... Even though humanity may be, have been mostly converted into undead... Doesn't mean we need to destroy the environment. The animals can continue to live. The group is driving through a ruined city when they end up being surrounded by a horde. We got this before. It's a mall siege again. Overwhelming horde. Horde. Overwhelming horde. Late morning, 1.5 hours. This is going to be a little dicey. This is going to be a little dicey. I foresee this. We're all starting off injured, too, so that's part of why. Uh, I definitely should use this healing spray, but I'm going to have to give it to somebody. Because I don't want to take any of those items off of Eddie Gins' stuff. And I'm going to temporarily become Count Dinkula so I can use it manually. Yeah, there we go. And he should also have maybe a gun. No, Courtney needs, Courtney needs a golf club. Yeah. Yeah, she's got no weapons, actually, which is weird. Alright, you get the golf club and a, and a boot to throw at zo Damn it, I'm switching all the wrong things. You get a boot to throw at zombies because that's going to work really well. And a pipe. But it's a heavy pipe, so don't get overtired trying to swing that. Yeah, this siege is a piece of crap. But uh, hopefully I'll pull through. Alright, I think we're good. Yeah. Alright, let's go. This is as good as we're gonna get. Alright, Eddie, I wanna heal you. Stop moving. There you go. Did it. Okay, now I can switch back to Eddie. Now that I healed him. And we got it. Everyone's on fighting mode. Good, that's where we need him. Uh, on either. Yeah, it's fine. All right, let's go. I'm taking over this team again. Oh, I only had, I have almost no shells. This is uh, problematic. Oh, gotta save the, save, save the security guard. He'll help us. Don't worry, security guard with the mustache. We we're gonna save your life. There you go. Now he's good. Can I talk to him? I think I can talk to him when he follows me. Yeah, this is what I've trained for. All right, let's go. Let's save your, let's save your coworker in the other store. Fuck you, zombies. Fuck you, zombies. Come on, guys, fuck the zombies. I mean, well, not literally, but kill them. Hey, older security guard. Ready to rock! All right, good. Now we're now we're gonna do well. We we're a squad of five. Nothing can stop us. Let's go stand in this corner so less zombies can figure out how to get in the door. Yeah. All right, you guys. We just gotta we just gotta wait this out. I mean, they're all kind of like lumping up by the only exit, so that will be a problem. But that's a that's a problem for future us, not for current us. Current us just need to stand in the store corner and take it easy, and then occasionally murder zombies that fall through the ceiling. Okay. Sure, wish I had some more shotgun shells, though. That would be cool. See, that's the other thing too. Is standing here makes sometimes the uh, roof zombies will fall on the other store. And they can't get you. Okay, siege is over. Now for the extremely difficult maneuver of getting the hell out of here. Uh, this is where it's gonna suck. Uh, all right, let's let's just like try to. I guess we can just gotta clear it out a little bit. Yeah, because they're just gonna keep filtering in at this point. But if we can get them up around this shelf, now there's an endless supply of them. So I mean, well, pretty much fu functionally endless. It's not really endless, but functionally. Alright, come on, guys! Keep up! Keep up! Keep up! Keep up! Fucking keep up! Come on! Come on, everybody! We gotta get out of here! Come on, everybody! We gotta go! We gotta leave now! Get over here! Okay, somebody died. Uh, yeah, let's go. I think it was Count Dinkula that died? No, he's still alive. Who do we... 
Was it a guard? Yeah, it was just the three of us, right? So it was just a guard that died. I think that's right. Throw that away. It's empty anyway. Okay, well, that's fine. I mean, they can't come with us anyway, so... Uh, Courtney, you never threw your boot the whole time? Well, you're going to have to hang on to that boot until you use it. All right, young lady. That's a perfectly good throwing boot. Well, I made it through, so that's good. It made me run out of shotgun shells, but... The group feels inspired after Manion survived that. They feel like they are getting the hang of this. Uh... Uh, morale and random skill. Yeah, yeah. Edikin's morale goes up all the way. Uh, Dinkula is up. Then Edikin's learned some medical. Dinkula learned some medical. Courtney gained some strength. Good. Excellent. Nice, well-rounded skill set. I gotta set up better. I need to save a lot of ammo if I'm going to make it. You don't even use guns, Dinkula. Fuck you. You're a vampire. You can claw them. Use your claws. The group gets out in a big field. The group eats a decent meal. The finder of cans sitting. Shoot those cans. The group gets some shooting practice by blasting the cans. A man in red long johns runs into the field with a pitchfork, thus completing the Simpsons reference. My cans! My precious antique cans! Oh, look what you've done to him! Shakes his pitchfork as he yells. Everyone's morale decreases. Ha ha! Sports sticks like bats at golf clubs are great until they break. That, yeah. The group gets a peaceful moment to rest in a safe house. No zombies in sight. With some spare time, they decide to... Teach mechanical skills. Count Dinkula teaches everyone what he knows about car repair. Another way to accidentally mess up machinery. Yay. While driving on the death road, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. Mm, let's go to the office. I don't really feel like battling through wall-to-wall -wall horde in that shopping mall. Moderate swarm, irritated afternoon. Not too bad, I guess. Put the auto shoddy away since it's empty anyway. Save that for later. Alright, let's go. Alright team, spread out, or you know what, never mind. Stick together. Also, defensive mode. Excuse me. Pardon me. Here's a chair. Alright, let's see. There's gotta be something in this office. We can find all their stock portfolios and whatnot. And then we'll be rich. Because that's what that's how stocks work, right? They're literally printed on pieces of paper that we keep in a folder. That's how that's how stocks are. Fuck you. Here, eat this blue chair. BAM! Oh, I missed him. Well, I missed him with the, with the golf club. I hit him with the chair. Ah, good, here's the supplies. Also a safe. Um, I'm gonna... Count Dinkula, I think, still has the best mechanical of the team, so he's gonna pick the lock. The safe is locked closed and sh too sturdy to destroy. Well, Count Dinkula just cracks the fucking safe. Takes a couple of hours, but Count Dinkula figures out the safe's combination, along with some now useless money it had. Box of 75 bullets. Yes. Also... I now need to trade those over to Eddie. Oh no, he already got them. Okay. I thought I would go to Count Dinkula because he was the one actually opening the safe. Well, anyway. I'm gonna pick up this grenade. There we go. Cool. Got it. There's another golf club here if somebody wants it. There you go. Good job, Courtney. And also, Count Dinkula got one. Now we can all go golfing! Let's get out of here, though. Bam! Well, there's still more rooms to explore. Might as well take a quick look. Just a quick little peek. Nothing in this bathroom. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, God. Oh, my gosh. Okay, wait. Okay, stop. Okay, no, no. Ah, I couldn't even switch my gun fast enough. Your mission leader died. R.I.P. Edikins. Well, back to being Count Dinkula. Blah. I want to kill the zombies. Do I have any weapons? Yes, I do. Pick up all the supplies! Blah! Waste not one knot! I'm going to throw this file cabinet! Blah! Did I get everything? I can't tell because- Oh no, the grenade's still there. I better get that grenade. Bink! We don't want the zombies to have it. They're just gonna blow themselves up. Yeah, I know. It's so sad. All my friends and myself are dying. Oh, look, there's the key! 
Well, I already picked it, so... Oh well! Aw, oh, poor Eddie. I think I had all the stuff in the office. Let's just go. Let's just leave. Come, my sweet child. Let's go. Yes. Poor Eddie. But we got a lot of bullets. It takes a little strong and sweet person to use a sledgehammer well. Yes. The group finds a cabin in the woods with no zombies in sight. It has a wood stove in it, but no wood. The group eats a decent meal. Go out and chop wood. Who's chopped the wood? Dinkula. Count Dinkula chops a bunch of wood and gets the wood stove going before passing out from exhaustion. He will be very tired tomorrow. Mm -hmm. But his strength went up, which is good. And Courtney is happy. Count Dinkula is tired. The group finds a new person, Mikmodu. He is alone and wants to join the team. Mm, I don't trust you. You look like a hobo. I shouldn't be so prejudiced, but still. The car is completely out of gas and coasts to a stop. The car abandoned. Courtney whines incessantly about bugs. The weather suddenly turns bad. The group is caught in the open and must keep moving. They are forced to stumble around in miserable conditions. Morale decreases. After an entire day of walking, the group finds a safe camping spot. The group is very hungry and they eat an extra meal. Okay. The group finds that there is no food left. Despair creeps in. Cognicula rolls up his sleeves and starts tending the wounds, but he lacks enough medical supplies. Good job. Loud of car, the group is a sitting duck for bandits. The group is ambushed by awkward bandits that apologize for the robbery. They are likely new at this. They demand all your extra gas and half your ammo and medical supplies. How much do I have here? I have no gas. Uh, half my ammo and medical supplies? That's one medical supply. And that's a decent amount of bullets. Oh, did we not get the pistol when Eddie died? That's, uh, no, okay. Courtney has it. Alright. That's fine. That's actually, that's actually better. Also, she needs this axe, because Count Dinkula has vampire claws. There you go. And I don't need to carry this grenade around right now. Put that away. All right, what was I looking at again? Supplies? Yeah. Well. Oh, yeah, now it's loaded up. So I think now that I loaded the gun, it's, I think it's only going to count to 53 extra bullets as far as half of that. So, I, yeah, I'll give it to him. Yeah. And the group decides to play it safe. They give in to the bandit's demands. Yeah, we did. Cool. 26 pi pistol ammo, 36 rifle ammo, 1 med, and Courtney gets sad. The group is walking through the countryside and stumbles on burnt-out cards, with zombies roaming around them. This is a good opportunity to check if one of the cards still works. Very thick swarm, but they're calm, and it's morning. Okay. Well, the, our gear should still be good because I already managed it. So let, let's do it. I want to steal a car! Ah, ah, ah. Do all the cars have gas in them? No, they do not. That is a shame. I do not drink the gasoline. Ah, there's some. Hey, a pipe. A tire iron, I mean. Blah! Blah! Also, blah. Uh, ooh, a van. Oh, it's got gas in it! Yay! Just gonna siphon that right out of there. There we go. Stay down, zombie. Just stay down. And, oh, a hybrid car. Yay! That gets good mileage. And away we go! The new Dinkula Mobile! It is a, it is a Prius! Don't make fun of me, or I will suck your blood. A swarmed gym or a hardware store? Nah, I'm gonna go with the hardware store. Group finds a hardware store. There may be cans of gas or a chainsaw here, but only if other people haven't picked the place clean yet. Moderate swarm that are calm and it's near noon. Yep, we'll put this tire iron away. Don't actually need it, just wanted to pick it up for why not. For because reasons. Alright, let's go. I can't wait, no, I can't wait. When are they gonna open up that door? I'm going, yes, I'm going, now I'm going to the, going to the crypto. Oh, it's actually a Yalmart. That's fine. Oh, good, one of those uh, branch trimmers. Yeah, sweet. Oh, it's really slow. Really slow weapon. That's fine, though. Take that, and that. I want to trim your branches! Ah, ha, 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 ha. 
Ooh, we got hammers and, and, and screwdrivers and nail boards. Is that a leaf blower? That is, in fact, a leaf blower. Oh my god, you can actually blow things with it. Oh my god, it blows away zombies. That is the best leaf blower in the world. Oh my god. But I'm gonna put it away and stop wasting gas for a minute. That is amazing, though. I didn't know that was a thing. Oh, there's another leaf blower. Uh, we don't need two leaf blowers. Although, there is a chainsaw. So I'm gonna give you this hammer here, Courtney. And I'm gonna pick up this fucking chainsaw. Yeah, baby! Chainsaw! That's a pretty good haul, but I still want to see if there's any other supplies in these other rooms. Ah, it's a bathroom. I'm not even going to bother right now. Kill you. Get the gas. There's another chainsaw, but... Eh, probably should pick it up, but I won't. Uh, yeah, that's good. Let's, uh, let's go. Wait, what's that? What is this? A weed whacker! A, a, weed, a weed whacker! Okay, you get, you get this, and I'm going to exchange this hammer for the weed whacker. Yeah, buddy! Oh, whoops. Didn't mean to drop it. Ah, I'm back now! Ha ha ha! With a leaf blower! Nothing can stop me! Alright, Courtney, get in the car. Courtney, get in the car. Courtney. Courtney, get in the car. Courtney? Courtney. Courtney, get in the car. Are you in the car? I think you're in the car. Let's go. Well, that almost went wrong right at the end, but it worked out. A fast and fancy car pulls up to you dramatically. The driver shouts out from his window, On the death road, the only way to survive is to be fast and also furious. He challenges you to a drag race. I accept your challenge in my Toyota Prius. The race begins. Both drivers floor it. The group's car is too slow and is left far behind. Sad. Hashtag sad. Furniture is a natural enemy of the zombie. Good insight, Courtney. Exhausted after an extra long drive, the group scouts out a camping spot and falls asleep immediately after. The group finds that there is no food left at all. The spare creeps in. But we got all this sweet lawn equipment. Come on. How can you have low morale when you have all of this? Look at that. Look at all these gas-powered uh, equipments that I need to put away because gas is a precious commodity that we need to not be wasting frivolously. Uh, Courtney, you can uh, hang on to the axe. We'll put that branch trimmer away because I think it's a little heavy for you. Okay. Actually, I'm going to give Count Dinky the, the trimmer, because then he can attack at a longer range. Yeah. That looks good. Alright. Where were we? If only we knew about throwing chairs when the zombies first showed up. But I'm a little leery of it, because, you know, they made the wood, and when it breaks, it makes a wooden stake, and I don't like that. Courtney demands that Count Dinky the leaves, which is kind of reasonable. He is a vampire. Courtney says that she will take care of the car and supplies and continue on to Canada. Count Dinkula says, SAY IT! DON'T SPRAY IT! Mm. Count Dinkula tells Courtney to say it, don't spray it. Courtney gets so angry with this that she can't even talk. Count Dinkula's morale I increases. We resolve the situation. The, the group finds a gas station far off the main road. Someone has looted the store and there's no zombies in sight. The gas pumps are old and don't seem to be functioning. Count Dinkula attempts to fix pumps. Mm. Count Dinkula attempts to fix the pumps. He gets them pumping in no time. The group collects up that precious gas. 96. Oh yeah. Yeah, I mean, I didn't think I was going to win the race in the Prius, but I wanted to give it a shot. Courtney accidentally slams her hand in the car door. Good jump. <laughs> she get, in anger, she gets out and kicks a tire, stopping her toe. This makes her blow a gasket. Composure decreases, and she's injured. Good. The group drives around, or the group drives into the outskirts of a city. Zombies mill around, but they haven't seemed to notice the car yet. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, thick swarm, calm aggression, afternoon. Uh, safe house. Yeah. Yeah. We're both injured. This is gonna go great. Yeah, this is gonna go great. Alright, away we go. Okay, safe zone. Excellent. Oh no, they were lying. There are actually zombies here. I am going to complain to the management. Ah, meds, good. Chips and bullets and boots. Some of those epic throwing boots. Which we don't really need. Bam. Okay. That. Smack. Still no toilet, GD. I'll get him eventually. 
You know, even though this head trimmer has the range, it really doesn't do much damage per hit. Or not head trimmer. Oh shit, Courtney's dead. Probably shouldn't have just walked out the door with all those zombies. Oh well. Count Dinkula will live to dink another day. What else is in this house? She had a pistol. I might want to go back to that pistol. But I mean, maybe I'll find a whole other one. It doesn't really matter. Ammo, ammo, ammo. I should probably go get back, go back and get the pistol. Oh, good, a fire axe and a hockey stick. And get out of my way! Oh, whoops. I thought he could do the bad thing again, but I guess I, I guess he couldn't. Well, my team is dead. The moral of the story is: don't be a dink or a vampire. All right. Okay, um... What time is it? It's like 10.30? Did anybody try to get a hold- Did any of my friends try to get a hold of me? Tell, tell me they were no longer busy and could play GTA with me? I should find out right now, which is what I'm doing. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. They're still doing whatever they're doing. Okay. Uh, one more. Uh, oh, wait, I gotta- I cannot- I got more unlock points! All right, uh, let's see. What kind of stuff do you have again? Hmm. I'll do that one. I'll do extra ZP because then in the long run it'll be better because I'll earn more points faster. When you rescue someone, you should probably shake them down for their sweet Zamba points. Get one ZP every time you rescue a person or a dog. Okay. Do it. That still leaves me with, like... How many? I don't. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, I have three points left. All right. Nah, I'm not gonna bring any of those traits yet. Uh, let's upgrade Ultra Fit. Yeah, now that I'll start with four points. Yeah, do it. Do it. Maximum level. Yay! All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Boop. Back to the actual game! Okay. New game. I'm gonna start as myself again. And my buddy will be... Oh, Vico! Do you want me to make you as a character? Well, I'll worry about that later, actually, but... If yes, I'll just do that. I'll do it later. Um... I'll make another random buddy, I guess. Nah... Elena the Charming Karna? Nah. Nah. Lashonda. The civilized healthcare expert. With derp eyes. Nah. 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 Vester, the big bruiser who is resilient. Yes. I'll let him run at the zombies. This is my plan. He's gonna run at all the zombies and kill them with his bare hands. Well, maybe not bare hands, but... The point is, he's gonna run up and kill the zombies, and I will probably live longer. Although I can't actually do that unless I'm playing as him. Okay, yeah, I'll make you now then. Alright. Um, custom characters. So you can have, you, since, you're in, since you're here, you can have input. Uh, I don't have all the skills unlocked yet, though, so... Let's, uh, let's go ahead and switch this up here. Let's just bleh, and then there we go. Alright. So, let's start... I don't know what to make you look like, actually, so, uh, you're gonna have to tell me, <laughs> but, let's see, I'll just put it on something that's, like, halfway decent, and you can tell me what to change, because it's gonna take a little while for, for you to, like, with lag and everything, I won't, it'll take a little while before you see this part, you know what I'm saying, you, you get it, you know what I mean. Okay, body type. Are you tall? Vico, you tall? I don't actually know what you act, what you really look like, to be honest. I think I maybe saw... I don't even know. I don't think it was somebody else. Yeah, I don't actually know what you look like. So... Yeah, je okay, jeans and a t-shirt, but like... But like, also physical appearance, though. Like, what should I do? Jeans... Uh... I 
Now, uh, it's hard to really tell what this clothing looks like. Mm, box, come on, there we go. The menu is not cooperating with me. I don't know, I mean, you're the same height as me, really. Or, I'm a little, I'm a little taller, actually, but, um, I'll just make you medium height. There we go, okay. Brown hair. Long, okay. Hair is long. That's that's pretty long. Does that look good? How does, how does that look? Also, I don't know if you want me to change the face or not or whatever, or put on some kind of sunglasses or something. Cause they got some cool, they got some cool things to put on the face. Like, oh, there's like all these glasses, and sunglasses, here. eye patch, another eye patch, uh, goggles, some sunglasses, a mask, uh, 3D glasses, medical mask, gas mask, uh, VR mask, welding mask, glasses. Oh, you want, do you want the eye patch, or are you just reacting to the eye patch? Okay. And there we go, eye patch. Perfect. Alright, we're good. I know, well, well, with the appearance, I gotta set this other stuff. Okay, so. We get Cora. Oh, I forgot to delete the name that was there. Vicora. Okay, uh, so what perk do you want? Uh, again, I don't have them all unlocked yet, so I got Mechanic, Athlete, Fighter, Surgeon, Gungeoneer, Martial Artist, Big Bruiser, Gun Collector, Healthcare, Car Nut, Mega Buff, Ultra Fit, Friend of Dog, or Explorer. And then the, and then the other ones that don't have excess or hidden potential, blah blah blah, you see what they are. Yeah. Which I will unlock eventually, but for now I gotta pick one of the ones I have. And while you're... And I'm also gonna go to the traits, because again, it's gonna, there's lag, so you have time to decide. But, uh... Uh, the traits are Paranoid, Oblivious, Charming, Irritating, Bandit, Oops. Uh, Irritating Bandit, Mysterious Past, Practical, Warrior, Fierce Tempered, Calm Under Fire, Nurturing, Inventive, Frantic Whiner, Resilient Type, Berserk, Civilized, and then the rest I don't have. I have, I have a sneaking suspicion you might pick Anime Fan, but I don't have that unlocked yet, unfortunately. Okay, uh, yeah, I know, I know. And there are cats in the game, but it's, I think the only way you can get a cat in your party is if you get the witch encounter. But normally it's just dogs. It is what it is. I would have preferred cat. So surgeon, okay. So surgeon for your perk. So has a good intuition of anatomy and a real steady hand. You start with a scalpel, you get two points in medical skill and one point in shooting. So let me know if you change your mind about that. But also we need to know which trait you want. So here's the trait screen again. First page. Sec er, wait, no. This is the first page. And this is the second page. And I can always change it later uh, when I unlock more if you want to do some of the ones I don't have. Inventive. Got it. Comfortable with machinery such as cars. Two points in mechanical. Great with wits checks and may need more practice to repair a car. Bam. So, Vakora, the inventive surgeon. And I can, always, like I, said, I can always change it later. So, save to here. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I, I always carry around too much myself. All right. And back. So, new game. First slot, me and my buddy, Vecora. Bam, there you go. Now you can feel invested in the adventure. All right, let's go. Bam. Mo okay, this is always the same. I remember this place can safe place, blah blah blah. All stats go from 0 to 6. A stat of 0 to 1 will usually automatically fail. 5 to 6 will usually succeed. Hit the road. Oh yeah, let's look at our status messages, because they're always random. Mara claims to know an ancient anti-zombie martial art. It's, um... I'm kind of come up with a name for it. Zedfu? I don't know, that's a dumb name. Vakora hopes to find a flamethrower. That's a good idea. I mean, they're dangerous. You gotta make sure not to light everyone on fire. Oh, I'll, I'll try not to. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll, I'll stay on the front lines, but I'll, I can't make any promises because you saw what happened the last time. All right, boop. 
Where are we gonna start? Ah, rest stops are always good. They, I, they've never steered me wrong as a starting location. I've got a crowbar. Vico's got a scalpel, and we're good. Boop. Whack. Excuse me. I'm just gonna Gordon, my, gonna, gonna Gordon Freeman my way into this place with my crowbar. Smash up all the vending machines. There we go. This is a bathroom. No toilet loot. Okay. Excuse me. And... Ah, ha. Here we go. Boop. Got a gas. Yay. One step closer to unlocking the toilet genie. Do, 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 do. Ah, cereal. There we go. Scissors. A knife. Here, Vico. You can have these scissors. There you go. Don't run with them, though. Oh, more scissors. Bam! Bam! Take all this crap over here. Yeah, thank you, thank you. We're just gonna pass right by you guys. Come on, come on. There we go. Whew. <laughs> you don't need depth perception to be a good surgeon. Yeah. Go. Into the car. Actually, Vico, do you have a PS4? Because I think... Because this game has, like, same console co-op, but I think you can use share play to have the other person commit as player two, if you're interested. I don't know. Let me know. The group sets up camp at the safest place they can find, an abandoned mini-golf park. The group eats a decent meal. In the morning, they find a golf ball and putter while searching the area. The group decides to play a quick game. Vicora gets some needed exercise. Fitness increases. Vicora gets tired of the game and then loses the ball on purpose. Vico. Alright. Oh, okay. Sorry. The group spies a city from a distance. There's more in than usual, but it's early in the day, so they should be groggy. At least at first. Mild, sluggish morning. We go to the pet shop. Maybe get a dog. I hope there's a dog. Or a ferret. But there aren't ferrets in this game, so there's not going to be a ferret. Alright, let's put these scissors in the trunk for now. I don't think we need them right this minute. Um, you can have this knife in case your scalpel breaks. Because scalpels actually are pretty fragile, I think. I think they can break pretty easy. So, there we go. Boink. Who put these chairs here? Is it you? I'm going to kill you. Bam! There you go. Nope, nothing good in there. Oh, here we go. Found the kitchen. Yeah, you got a cleaver. Bam. Shop. Shop. Chop. Chop. Okay. What do we got in here? Just a can of food? That's fine. Uh, we got some bullets. Some rifle bullets. Nothing in the bathroom. Yeah, that is true. That's probably why they get broken. I mean, you could sever their spine with it. That's kind of that, that's a good way to kill a zombie with a scalpel, maybe. Especially if their neck is already kind of decayed, it makes it really easy. Get away from me, zombie! All right, let's go. What's over here? Got some pistol bullets. Uh, crap. Uh, broken down room with a zombie. Don't need that. Mmm, bookcase, what's it got? A food? Nice. And another food? Ooh, what's in the bathroom cabinet? A medical supply! Good! I'm gonna need those. Wait, wait, this door. This door says exit on it, that's the exit. It's very, it's very difficult to remember that. Only, only the most professional house searchers know. Ah, here's the pet store, there we go. Lots of bones, and hey, a poochie! Hey, doggo. This dog is feral. It's no longer trust capable of trusting humans. The dog eyes glimmer with luck for a moment. So in this situation, when you get this, if you have somebody that has friend of dog, they can recruit the dog. Uh, but we don't, so we won't. Anything else in here except for bones and bones and more bones? There are a lot. I feel like this feral dog probably went out and killed a bunch of people and dragged their skeletons in here. So at least it's not, like, murdering us, so that's good. But whatever. 
Yeah, I know. <laughs> Maybe it's like a poodle mix. Half poodle, half Rottweiler, I don't know. I mean, any dog's gonna go feral if it's left out in the wilderness without human supervision long enough. Cause it's not like it's, it's not a toy poodle, it's like one of those big poodles. Actually, there's two of them here. I just noticed that. They're identical. Leave dog alone. Just making sure. Leave dog alone. Oh yeah, okay, so it's a pair of poodle twins that are feral. Femurs break- no, don't try to tr don't try to pull me, hero. Femurs break all the time. I'm pretty- I'm pretty sure I remember them being very fragile. I mean, I have, sp I have space anyway, I could have picked it up. But, I don't- I don't care. Anything else? Anything else to loot in this little town here? Hey, hey buddy, your eye's out. There you go. Oh, shit! You could have maybe established his other eye. <laughs> no. Too late now. Well, actually, the eyeball's right there on the ground. You can see it on the. See, look, his eyeball's right there. Perfect. Pick that right up. Yep. Then you can... then Vigo could surgically implant the eye into her own head and have an an awesome magic zombie eye, which will allow her to see the auras of the living or something. I don't know. That's probably a bad idea. All right, let's go. Floor it. Yeah, that's what we need is the bionic eye. Preferably one that shoots lasers, like in Binding of Isaac. We need to be wary of random people. Who knows what they're capable of? Alright, Vaco, that's a good idea. Mar cuts himself pretty bad while goofing off in the post-apocalypse. Yeah, I could see that happening. Uh, he will probably, You know what I probably did? I probably tried to make a makeshift butterfly knife, and then I was like spinning it around, and then I cut myself. That's probably what happened. Uh, he probably needs stitches for his arm. Well, Vakara can stitch it up, right? Because she knows about medicals, right? Vico tries to shoot her up Mar's arm. She ends up botching the stitches and making the wound worse. The bleeding stops, but Mar's arm heals poorly. Well, cool. The group camps for the night off a quiet stretch of the road. Eat decent meal. Yeah, you're you're starting. Even though you have surgeon, I haven't leveled it up very much, so your starting medical skill isn't amazing. But it's better than someone without the trait would have. Oh yeah, minority report. In the morning, there's a moose! Oh, it's the moose again! Um, Vico, do you want to try uh, treating the moose's injury? If you botch it, it's going to beat the crap out of you, but if you succeed, I think you get some kind of good thing from it. I'm just waiting for your answer. Come on, internet. <laughs> Yes, no, Vico. Do you want to heal the moose with your medical pro uh, prowess? Which is, again, not that great because I don't have that stat. I don't have that trait leveled up very well. Okay, yeah. Let's do it. Treat it. Ah, fuck. Vico tries to help the injured moose. She doesn't know much about caring for a moose because she's a doctor, not a veterinarian, as she said. Um, and ends up angering it. The moose flings out a hard kick to Vicora. Morale decreases and injury. It was worth a shot. We should try to find efficient cars to conserve our gas, like a Toyota Prius. Hashtag not sponsored. There's a large horde of zombies on the road ahead. The group isn't sure if they could get through them or not. I think we should seek shelter in a house. Yeah, that moose was pretty rude. The group hides in a nearby house to wait for the horde to disperse. The zombies end up becoming agitated and they attack. Very large horde for one hour in the late afternoon. I'm, I'm sure we can, we, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. I mean, we're injured. That's not the best. Ah, we'll be fine. All right, Vico, we gotta do this. Ah, kill all zombies. Actually, I guess I'll need to put the team on fighting mode. Yeah, there we go. Kill all zombies. Kill, kill them. Kill all of the zombies. Bam. Ah, shit. I'm turning the wrong way, no. See, when you're tired and you're reeling from an attack, you can't turn around, which is annoying. Oh, good! A room! Let's get in here. Get in here. Vico. There we go. Perfect. I got a nightstand! No zombies better come in here, because I've got a nightstand! I'm gonna put it down, though, because you get tired if you hold objects too long. They better not- they better not glitch through that door like they were earlier, or I'll be pissed. I will be mad. Oh, they broke it. Okay. BAM! Take that. What's this? A chair? BAM! Get behind the bed! Get behind the bed! It'll provide cover for like two seconds. No! 
Oh, jeez. Try to grab me. These guys are really grabby. No! Vika, look out! No, don't go at him when you're tired! Get back! Defend mode! Back up! Vico! Okay. Oh my god. Getting too aggressive there. Yay! Let's get the fuck out! Alright, now we're gonna go into, into running away mode. Wait, where's my... Oh, whoops, I accidentally hit it. Okay, because I hit it while the dialogue was still open. Running! Alright, we out. We out. We outie. Outie 5000. Let's go. Ooh, a hammer. I mean, a mallet. No, that wasn't worth it! Why did I do that? Alright. Let's get out of here. That was definitely not worth getting bitten to get a rubber mallet. I mean, I don't know what I was thinking there. Escape! Yes, let's get the fuck out. Hooray! We didn't die! Yatta! Outside of Canada, the most society and civilization has been destroyed. Mm hmm. Trader camp. Let's go. I know. Super intense. This suspicious person is wearing a mask and holding a fancy silent sniper rifle. My weapons are so quiet. You'll attract much less zombies per shot. I just imagine he whispers. Silence, pistol for three food. That's a bargain! I have a few more for sale if you want silent firearms for the whole group. Uh, uh, I don't think we can spare that much food. This man is carrying several shotguns. Most of them lashed to his back. He's booming out a sample, a uh, simple yet effective sales pitch. Shotguns for sale! Shotguns for sale! You have 12 food left. It's seven food. Uh, we should probably keep the food for eating. You know, for nomming purposes. Oh, bullets. Good. Love those bullets. And in the fridge, we have food. No matter that this is probably somebody's house. They, they were stupid enough to not lock their door, so that's what they get. What do they think this is? Canada? No, it's not, because that's where we're going and we're not there yet. Ah, good. Medical supplies. Also very good. I mean, seriously, if you leave your door uh, open and medical supplies on the ground and someone takes it, you don't have any right to be mad. That's, you know, that's the way I see it. Okay, so I got the science pistol. Do we know what either of our shooting skills are? We don't know what mine is yet. We don't know what yours is yet either. So we're probably both terrible at it. I'll, I'll take it just because I'm playing as me. So I'll be the one to equip that. I'm gonna be a splinter cell! Yay! Okay. Sam Fisher time! Woo! Alright. And I should put that other thing away too. I don't need to, I don't like to have a full inventory. I want to be able to pick things up that I find. Uh, actually, put the crowbar away because I, I don't have a highly high fitness. I'll rather use this cleaver. Yeah. Oh no, wait, that's right! I just remembered, part of the surgeon trait is you do start with one point in shooting, so I'm gonna actually give you the pistol. I totally forgot about that. There you go. Yeah. Cool. So I'll, get, I'll pick this mallet up. There we go. Now I have a backup weapon. Cool. Yeah, exactly, hero. Yeah, I, I remembered that a second ago. Thank you. Thank you, though, for reminding me. Because In case I was dumb and didn't remember. Yeah, 12 food is 3 days. I have 15 food. Yeah, I don't need another pistol. I don't... I think we'll be fine. Start the car! Punch the keys, for God's sake. Alrighty! Fully here at Cora. Thank you, Vico! And then you run out of medical supplies. The group finds another traveler by the roadside, named Paxton. He insists on joining the group immediately. The group isn't even given a choice. Paxton joins the party. Onward to Canada? He's got a great attitude and terrible composure, and he's wearing an orange shirt, so maybe he broke out of prison. Great. He's gonna sit in the back, like all the way in the back. Try to conserve your ammo. Attack only when you have to. The group is about to explore a small house when they notice that a horde is creeping nearby. Creepers be creeping. The group will have to hold their ground for a bit before they can escape. Siege alert! There's no escape. Horde size moderate. Current time late afternoon. We have to hold out for one hour. Try. You know, I gotta, I'm, I gotta raise this camera up a little bit. Sorry, I shouldn't. I really shouldn't adjust my camera in the middle of a stream. But it's like bugging me that it's a little too low. How's, how's that? Is that good? Is that even any different? 
We gotta tilt it a little bit. Sorry, this is super, super unprofessional. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah, is this good? Is that good? What am I seeing? What am I seeing? Oh, part of my map. Yeah. It's like a mermaid tail. Okay. I thought it was something on the back of my couch. Weird. Anyway, that's 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 good and fine for now. Maybe I'll just maybe I'll just turn it slightly that way. There we go. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, try to survive. You're right, Vico. I'm sorry. I I was a fool. I should have I should have thought about that. Uh, Paxton has a bat. Or a cricket bat. Baseball bat. It's a bat. It's a, some kind of bat. Alright, that's all we really need to worry about. Uh, what's his status message? I better read it before we all die. Oh, he's unusually calm. So that might be evidence towards my suspicion that he broke out of prison. Maybe he is a uh, psychopath. And that's why he's unusually calm. Also, wait a minute. He has the worst level composure. But he's unusually calm. So I guess he just, he's like creepily calm most of the time, and then the slightest thing happens and he snaps. So he's probably a murderer. This is all fitting into place. He's clearly an escaped prisoner. Anyway, hopefully he'll take out his murderous tendencies on the zombies and not us. I would. Yeah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Alright, let's go. Ah, to siege! Everybody kill zombies! Uh, team, fighting mode. Go! Execute strategy, kill everything! 66. Whatever. Blue 42. Is that, does that cabinet have something in it? This cabinet has something in it. Ah, huh, food. Oh, well, at least these zombies are actually coming in really slowly, so... Let's go stand in the back, behind this table. We'll have a little, we'll have a little group meeting here and then the zombies will eventually show up and then we'll take them out when they get here so how, so how, how are you guys doing good you good Paxton are you good yeah I think we do I think we're doing all right we're doing all right I'm gonna push this table down okay you guys could maybe not stand right in front of it all right whatever um, yeah you should, we should okay I'm gonna help you fight we should, I wanted to make a barricade but if you're gonna all right here we go you know, it'd be smarter if I did this. Maybe they won't run in front of the table if I put them in defense. Oh! Or you'll chop the table straight in half with the scalpel. That works, too. Alright, well, this was fun, but we should probably get out of here. I'm just gonna throw a chair at these guys. Bam! And another one. Bam! Oh, he blocked it. Alright, let's, let's go. Paxton, um, feel free to stay behind and fight more zombies if you want. Maybe. Hint, hint. No? Okay, well, let's just go. You broke your weapon. Let's out. Let's get out. Get the fuck out. <sighs> yeah, Vico's MVP. The group feels inspired after making you survive that. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's all get strong. <sighs> My strength is the worst, and now it's slightly better. And so is Vico's. Paxton had smiley face level, and now he's got open smiley face level. So he, he's stronger than both of us, so that's another reason for us to be concerned. The group gets up, sets up camp for the night after being sure there's no danger here. They discover edible berry bushes all around the campsite. The berries wouldn't be a big amount of food for the work and sleepless night, but every bit could help. How much food do we have? Nah, we should go to sleep. The group really doesn't want to pick berries for eight hours. The group eats a decent meal. I mean, we are kind of low on food, but it just didn't... I don't want us to be tired. A bee flies into the car. <gasps> Even with a window open, it doesn't leave. It keeps flying right into the group's faces. This could be the biggest challenge yet. Paxton swats the bee. Paxton swats the bee. It solves the bee problem, but he gets stung. Paxton is hurt. Oh, well. I mean, oh no. Make sure to keep both hands on the wheel when driving. Shut it, Mar. How am I supposed to shoot zombies at the same time? All right. Jeez, Vico. You make a good point. It's fine. While driving on the death road, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. Burning house. Mm, I don't know if we should go in the burning house. 
Let's go in the hotel. Goose got a hotel while traveling through a ransacked town. It looks like... Yeah, I should have just picked Panic, right? Yeah. Uh, it sure looks like group tri people tried to barricade it, but we're interrupted. All that's left are the undead. Mild swarm size, calm aggression, near noon. This should be fine. I don't think this is going to be trouble at all. Uh, yeah, whatever. You can have a full inventory. I, I want to... Paxton should have a weapon, probably. I mean... I'm still worried about him being a serial killer, but I'll give him this crowbar. I'll just keep an eye on him. Alright, let's go. Oh, shit. There were zombies right there. Oh man, someone already entered the kitchen. Shit. Ah, oh, good food. I found one packet of food on the floor. And I found some rifle bullets. That would be great if we eventually find a rifle. Wow, I just critically hit that zombie with this cleaver. Okay, bam! Bam! Oh, that's right, we increased our strength. That must, that's clearly why that happened. Hello. Oh, jeez, he had no face. He turned around and he had no face. That's creepy. Uh, okay, we got some chairs. Mm, that's a boring bathroom. Take that. Nice finisher. Okay, that's an empty box. There's some skeletons. Don't push the skeleton around, Paxton. Let the dead rest, okay? Oh, good. One medical. Now maybe Vico can heal herself. I really hope Vico heals herself and not Paxton, though. Let me get out of here. Bam! Shotgun! This is my boomstick, but I'm not gonna use it yet. Shotguns don't really take much skill to use either, so it's good that I have that, but I probably have worse shooting. Get this table out of my way! Oh wait, I already looted that side. Oh, I forgot I didn't loot that one yet. Make a lap around the room. Is that another shotgun, or is that a rifle? That is a cowboy rifle. Okay, well, um... Real quick, like, I'm just gonna hand him this mallet, pick up this cowboy rifle. I definitely don't want Paxton to have it. And I'll give you the rifle, Vico. I'll take that knife for now, I guess. Yeah. There we go. Good. We're all set. Just down here. Gosh darn! Another shotgun! Well... I can't in good conscience not... I really should give him the shotgun, after all. Just so we all have a gun. We just gotta make sure he doesn't double cross us. That's not really a thing that can happen. I don't. I don't think they ever would do that in the middle of a mission. But yeah, I'm RPing. Damn it. I want. I want. But uh, that's what I'll do. I won't give him any any shells. I'll just give him an empty shotgun. That'll work. There we go. Problem solved. All right, let's get out of here. This is good enough. We got so many guns. That's crazy. How many guns we got? The cat food doesn't taste that bad. Okay. You you can keep eating the cat food. Oh man, we're out of gas. I didn't even pay attention to that. Oh, fuck you, bandits. Weak bandits. They want 12 food. Paxton terrifies the bandits with the fact that he's totally a stone cone... St st stone cold killer. There, I got it. I figured it. I was managed to say it. The bandits are utterly terrified by Paxton. They trip over themselves in a rush to escape. The group is relieved to avoid a fight while exhausted. Paxton's morale increases. Good job, Paxton. Please don't kill us. After an entire day of walking, the group finds a safe camping spot. The group is very hungry and eat an extra meal. That's great. We Now we're going to be out of food. <sighs> Alright, that's fine. The core rolls up his sleeves and starts tending to their wounds. Yeah, who, who did you heal, though? Oh. Everyone but me. Okay. The group walks to a junkyard with a car pulled up to it in front of it. The car looks like it will run, and it might be the last one you see for a while. The swarm is mild, they're irritated, and it's late afternoon. Alright, I'm gonna put this knife down. Put the cleaver back in my first slot. Vico, we'll put the rifle away for now, and you can just use the silence pistol as your firearm. And we'll just take this away from Paxton. Give him the crowbar in his first slot, and there we go. 
All right, let's go. Bam. Bam. Yeah, well, we haven't encountered a Walmart or, or a Yalmart recently. Oh, good, it's an ice cream truck. I love ice cream trucks. I don't know enough about mechanical to hotwire it though, apparently. Open up that. We have to legitimately find the keys this time. Excuse me. Come on, guys. Whoa, 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 zombies, whoa. No, no touch. Okay, where are these keys? They're always very bright and colorful. Something in this. Oh, there was food in this dumpster. Perfectly good food. Who throws away cans of food, obviously? Honestly. Uh, no. Keys aren't over here. I have to go around this. All these wrecked cars. Get back, zombies! Stand back, you bread eating zombie bastards. Ah, get out of there! Jesus Christ. My car got scratched. There are the keys. I'll just take these, put them right in my pocket. Let's take a man to loot these dumpsters. Ah, good. Ten rifle bullets and a can of food. Excellent. And five shotgun shells. Cool. All right, well, now let's... Let, you know what? Let's just... How about... Shoot stuff now. There's kind of a lot of zombies here. Bam! Bam! Kapow! Oh, yeah, back, back to normal. Back to normal. Good job. We did it. Now we gotta get the fuck out of here and drive our ice cream truck into the sunset. Whoa, guys! You don't need to fight those zombies, just defend. I put you on defend mode. In the car! We all scream for ice cream! Away we go! I wish the, the horn on this should have been like a jingle, a jingling bell instead. Yeah, yeah, that's true. You don't want to get bitten by zombies in the junkyard. That There is a risk of tetanus. The group is driving down a long stretch of road. No threats on the horizon, but not much else of interest either. We only have five food left. Visit the camp. Ah, oh, jeez, it's raining and everything. Wait, the fence of values again? Welcome to the fence of values! I knew it. I knew I recognized this place. Okay, you've got pipe bombs. The group finds a switchy man selling homemade bombs. He's wearing a bulky coat with lumps bulging out from underneath. Buy my bombs! Uh, no. The group finds a man claiming to be a traveling medicine salesman. He's carrying two suitcases of medical supplies. He offers one medical for each item of food. Why do you want to rob everybody, Vico? I think, I think you're just in a bad mood or something. Ooh, who are you? The group finds a woman surrounded by medical equipment. She claims to be a skilled doctor. She's wearing a, like a... German style bicycle, motorcycle helmet for some reason. She offers to provide health care in exchange for food. You have five food left. That's there's not enough left to afford treatment. Paxton uses his psychopath charm. Oh, comes off as creepy. Well, imagine that. Uh, the group meets a woman who is covered in hammers. They hang from several tool belts and bandoliers. Can I tell you a secret? I love blunt weapons. I'll sell you my spares cheap. Uh, now nah, we don't need a hammer. Uh, well, robbing the pipe bomb guy, I think, is bad. I think he usually blows up and damages everybody when you try to rob him. I think that, I think I remember that happening to me before. Uh, but yeah, Paxton didn't do anything good, so we're screwed. Whatever. Moving on. Floor it! Yeah, don't own enough medical supplies, I know. We have zero. The group camps in a sturdy building. It seems to be an old repair shop with busted machinery laying around. This would be a great time to train with repairing things, but that would make a lot of noise. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'll am i do it. I'm gonna tinker all night. Me. Because I'm a gungeoneer. The group is very tight tomorrow. Yeah, I know, but look at how much mechanical skill I have. It's great. Sorry, everybody. We should bring as little attention to ourselves as possible, says me. The group is ambushed by a yelling man. He's ranting and raving. He doesn't look particularly dangerous, but those rants are starting to sizzle. Paxton listens to him. Paxton listens to the rambling man and tries to reason with him. The man calms down and explains that he thought the group were bandits. Paxton's wits are revealed. So he's not only... So he's calm, but has a hugely bad temper. 
and he's really smart. So he's kind of like a, hmm, it's kind of like a Hannibal Lecter type, I guess, or something. Anyway, Vikora shows him that they are bandits. Ha, <laughs> good job, Vico. So we robbed him. Nice. Paxton talked him down, and then we robbed him. All right. Vikora's loyalty revealed to be poopy. You're, you, you're actually less loyal than Paxton. <laughs> Alright. Well, I mean, that worked out well for us. We should have no problems getting to Canada, says Paxton. Mara accidentally... <sighs> I slammed my damn hand in the car door and freaked out. Great. The group is about to break into a small, fortified grocery store, but then... Finds Milag Milagro. Milagro? Milagro. Milagro? Already living inside. She seems like a calm, clever person. Let's rob them. Gregor hmm. convinces the group to rob Milagro. We all got sad about it, but we got six food, so in the end, it was worth it. <laughs> Keep your eyes open, running suspicious, says Vico. Hey! Hmm. Vico fully healed herself. Cool. Oh shit, I fucking deserted the group. Well, it was. I, mm, it must have been the whole slamming my hand on the car door thing that broke, broke the last of my sanity. So, okay, Mar was an asshole, stole as much food as possible, and left. And there's no food left. Cool. I'm I'm really sorry about that. Anyway. Now Vico's alone with the possible serial killer. Things are going great. While driving on the death road, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. How about we go to the house rescue and maybe rescue someone that will be awesome. And have all, all the good skills. Oh shit, they're mega cheesed. Well... Nothing ventured, nothing gained. So I guess now I'm gonna play as Pax. No, I'll play as Vico. Um, well, no, wait, Pax. No, I'll play as Pax until he gets killed first. If I run into a horde, yeah, that's a smarter idea. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Uh, what do I want him to use? Um, I'll give him. I'll give him a shotgun because now I'm in direct control of him. Assuming direct control. All right, and Vico has the silence pistol still, and her scalpel, which has magically not broken, amazingly. Okay, let's do it. Ah! Oh! Oh, she broke Vico. Vico! Ah! Vico broke her scalpel. Damn it! Yeah, she she picked up a femur, and she's wailing on zombies with it. Good job. Let's go. Let's get out of this room, though. And shut the door. Let's just shut that door and get all about it. If we can find the person we're rescuing, they can at least help us kill this swarm of mega cheese zombies. Good, I found more shotgun shells. Excellent. Vico, come on. Wait, what mode are you on? No, you're on defend. I thought you were on, on, on smashing for some reason. Wait, wait, Vico. Oh, there you are. Oh, yeah. Uh. Uh. No. Hmm. I mean, when you're on, when it's on either, the AI should use the gun if there's a, a swarm, a big enough swarm of zombies. Yeah, we should be okay. I don't need it. We'll be fine. If it looks dicey and and AI Vico doesn't start using the pistol, I'll manually switch her to shooting mode. Let's try to juke these zombies a little bit. Yep, there goes the femur. Here, pick up this board. There you go. Now you got something. Yeah, there you go. She's she whipped out the gun. We're good. She knows what she's doing. Oh man, bathroom. And I'm out of shotgun shells, so crowbar time. Gordon Freeman mode engaged. Bam. Wow, we actually cleared out a lot of those zombies, I guess. Crazy. Hey, another femur. Whoa, whoa. Why is there a grenade outside the map? What? 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 Look at that. You see that, right? What the fuck? Uh, here, have a femur. Enjoy. Um, but yeah, why is that grenade outside the door? That uh, don't make no sense. Hey, a screwdriver. Stab! Stab! Yeah! Gonna shank him like I did in the big house. I mean, I've never been to prison. Oh, there was a knife there too. We might want to. We might want that knife. Here, Vico, hold on to the screwdriver. There we go. Kitchen knife. Eat, 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 eat. 
Uh, well, I... That... Wasn't that all the rooms? I didn't see the survivor. Did the survivor die? Before we got to them? Or did I just miss them? Or are they up here? Oh, okay, I forgot the back of the house, didn't I? Yeah. Hello! Isidro! He says that he really wants to get out of this place. Yeah, sure, I mean... Why not, right? Isidro starts following Paxton. Oh good, more shotgun shells! Yay! Excuse me. Alright, let's just, let's just go, actually. Isidro, you coming? Isidro? Oh, there he is. I guess he, he needed to stay behind and chop up that zombie real good. Which is fine. Let's get out of here. Oh, is that an ice pick? I thought it was a screwdriver. My bad. Isidro catches up with the group. Um, how about he joins the group? He looks like a tough biker dude. Let me let me take a look at this equipment here. I'm gonna Oh, it is a nice pick. Okay, yeah, I'm just stupid. I thought it was a screwdriver. Put that bone away for right now. Isidro. Uh, you get... Well, you came with the cleaver, so there you go. You get the cleaver. Um, and a tire iron, because it'll look like a biker. You've got that. I've got no more shells left, so I'll put that away. Yeah, that should do it. That looks good. Yeah. Oh, we're about to run out of gas. It gets late, and there's no great place to camp. Solo zombie ho hobble around in the far distance, and one might sneak up on the group while they sleep. Who should stay up and watch? Isidro, because he's a newbie. He gets the shit job. He managed to stay awake, but it feels groggy in the morning. He has neutral morale. Uh, I mean, yeah, and neutral loyalty. And Vakora's morale increases. Good. Because she got to sleep. The car is completely out of gas and coast to a stop. Now we gotta walk. Great. The weather suddenly turns bad. The group is caught in the open and must keep moving. They are forced to stumble around in miserable conditions. Biko is super pissed. She's probably gonna freak out and leave the group. Which, I mean... We've got a serial killer and a biker. It's not... It w I wouldn't hold it against her to leave. While trekking through the woods, the group gets pretty lost. If they keep going like this, they'll waste a lot of time. Vakora climbs a tree. Her plan works out fine. She spots something in the distance and gets to see a majestic view. Morale increased and fitness revealed to be not great, but at least she didn't fall out of the tree. So. The group finds a long road full of abandoned cars and the zombies that maybe used to own them. There must be a lot of gas still in their tanks and there must be a car that still runs. Yes, certainly there must be, obviously. Very thick swarm that are hunting, so that's going to be a little dangerous. And it's late morning. Look for a good car. Mm, yeah, I, think, mm, I think the way I outfitted everybody previously is fine. Do we actually have rifle? We have rifle ammo. We should probably use a rifle, actually. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and give you a rifle, Vico. There you go. Yeah, that'll be good. And I have no idea if Cicidro can even shoot a gun. Or Paxton, for that matter. I don't think I know either of their shooting skills. Nope. I still don't know anybody's shooting skill, technically. But I, I mean, I know that she has at least one because of the surgeon trait, but I, I don't know what it actually is, technically, in the game. Here. All right, move in. We gotta get the gas, get the car, and then get the fuck out. What did you? Did, what did you break? What? Oh, Vico broke the melee weapon I gave her. Okay. Uh, here, have this meat cleaver. The biker can use the tire iron. There you go. All right. Nothing in that car. They said there would be gas. These, these cars are all empty. What is this? The game lied! Ah! Run, 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 run. What mode are you guys in? Defend mode, okay. Run, 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 run. Run, 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 run! Back up. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna put you in shooting mode so you just shoot all the time. And fighting and shooting, there we go. Murder all the zombies. Do it. Clear. Uh, wow, literally none of these cars have had gas in them. Th that, that screen totally freaking lied. Wait, what's this? No, that was bullets. That wasn't gas. You know what? I'm not even going to go back to the other shiny car. Fuck it. We got to get out of here. We, this is just no good. This is bad news bears up in here. Uh, more gas. I mean, there's been gas lying around, so I guess that's something. But it said they would be in the cars, and it is not. Uh, 
where is this car? This is quite a long street. There it is. Ah, and it's a, it's another hybrid car. Good. Let's let's go. Get in, Vico. There we go. And away we go. Now we should have plenty of gas to get all the way to Canada because hybrid cars. Yes, the kick is indeed a lie. Uh, the group stumbled upon a Swoloflex home strength and fitness machine. Trademark. You don't see these much anymore. How about we get Paxton in that machine? Because if it kills him, then okay. The machine clamps Paxton in place for his innovative gymnastics simulator. A high tension cable snaps free and whips around. There's no time to react to it. Paxton's fitness increases and he's hurt. Finish the workout. Don't pussy out now, Paxton. The machine starts its patented automated total body. Blah, 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 blah. Paxton's body makes audible snapping and crunching sounds. How horrifying. Strength increases to maximum, but he's hurt again. Totally worth it. And Vico does not have any medical supplies what which to heal Paxton's shattered body. The group finds a city in the afternoon. The dead swarm over it. They're idle now, but they will notice you soon enough. Moderate swarm size, sluggish near noon. Let's go to the bar. This is the best idea. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna play as a Cedro since Paxton is near death. Okay. Tire iron. Vicora has still the rifle. I'm going to switch you back to pistol for now because it's probably not going to be as hectic as that last one was. And I'll bring this mallet as a backup. Paxton is good. We're good. Alright. Mm, boop! Let's boogie. Oh yeah. Uh, I'm going to put you uh, put the team back on either combat and defend tactic. There we go. Bullets. Another. Oh, this one's really a screwdriver. Okay, this one's actually a screwdriver this time. Holy shit! Uh, no, let's let's just nope. You know what? I, I'm just gonna close that door. Uh, we just don't want to go in that room. We're gonna forget that never happened. Let's just get all these food items and run the fuck out of here before they break through that door. Yeah, let's. I think we should go. I think we should just get out. This house. No, I don't know why I went that way. Let's get out of the house. Though it was way too many zombies. I want nothing to do with that. Uh, okay. Okay, I can't walk around the house because the <laughs> perspective. I totally should be able to walk behind that house. But this is a 2D game. Where was the, where was the bar that I was promised? Is this game gonna just start lying to me all the time now? Cause I'm not into that. I'm not into being lied to by a game. Maybe it's north. I probably just went the wrong way. Yeah, there's another street to the north. That's probably where it is. Uh, oh. Oh, this is a... Okay, no. There's no more streets. Is it... No, it's not over here. Where the fuck is this bar? I was promised a bar. You know what? Screw it. Those zombies in that house are probably going to break out and swarm into the streets. We should just get the fuck out of here. Let's go. Goodbye. Forget the bar. No drinking today. That, that was intense. That was an intense room full of zombies, and it scared the people out of me. The group is sitting around a campfire. Finding this campsite was rough, so they are getting in a bad mood. The group eats a decent meal. Vicora is going to plan out tomorrow. Vicora plans out the next day. It's a good use of time and helps them focus on the big picture. Morale increase. Well, isn't no? I think that building is a bank. But also, it was blocked by rubble, wasn't it? Either way, it, even, even if that was the bar, I couldn't get in because it was blocked by rubble. Uh, the group tries to loot a grocery store, but it has been picked absolutely clean. Paxton finds a magazine rack and decides to grab one to read. Cat video pictures. I mean, obviously, that's the only one that you could possibly choose out of that. It's what the title says, just pictures of cat videos. It was pointless in better times, but got really popular after the internet went down. Paxton's morale goes up, and his attitude also goes up. Maybe the sight of the, of the internet lolcat pictures will make him not be a murderer anymore. We need to watch out for possible bandit ambushes, says Vakora. That's a good idea. We should do that. The group is driving down along such a road. No threats on the horizon, but not much else of interest either. No food left. And a trader camp. So let's go and get pity food, maybe, hopefully. Ooh, hey. It's an old but fit man in matching grave sweatpants and sweatshirt. He screams something about building massive bulk with an intense strength routine. 
He flails towards some heavy objects lying around. You have zero food left. It's not enough to get huge. But, he sees a roll. Use his charm. He gets free strength training. He already clearly feels a pump, as the bodybuilders used to say before they were all wiped out. Yay! He's very strong. The group talks to a meek-looking woman. She invites you to check out her collection of rifles. I found so many, I'm looking to sell some. You have zero food. It's not enough. But to be friendly, she gives you some free rifle ammo. See, that's one of the pity rewards when you have no food. I like it. Yay, more rifle ammo. Yay, even more rifle ammo. Now we just need to find like a fortified building and have uh, have Vakora sit up in a window and just snipe all the zombies with her hunting rifle. Yay, more rifle ammo. My god, so much rifle ammo. And the food. Shotgun shell ice cream truck. Uh, Paxton robs him! Pax- Okay! Oh, oh, oh. Paxton takes a big box of shotgun shells and walks away with it. In a calm and fluid motion, the shell merchant whips out a shotgun and starts blasting. We got 37 shotgun ammo, but Paxton is killed, and Isidro and Vakora are hurt. I mean, we got shotgun ammo from it. If you tie a string around your finger real tight, your finger will turn purple. Why would I need to know that, Isidro? Who cares? Good point, Vakora. That was a stupid thing for him to say. The group runs into a section of the city that has too much debris to drive through. While they attempt to find a way past, a horde moves in. With nowhere to run, they are forced to fight in the street. Siege alert, there's no escape. Yeah, yeah, I know, fit we need fit yeah, fitness is good. But anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, overwhelming, morning, one hour. Try to survive. Alright, so... Um... How are we gonna do this now? Let's see. I give this guy the shotgun. We have so much shotgun ammo now. And Vico, you need that rifle. You know what, I'm gonna have you carry the rifle and the pistol because I feel like this is gonna go shitty really fast. And we're gonna need all of the firepower we can muster. All right, in we, oh wait. What was Isidro's thing? Oh, Isidro has a beautiful singing voice. I'm glad I learned that before we all get horribly torn apart by zombies. Well, let's go. This cup, there's no shelter, is there? Great. All right, Vico, we need to go on a murder spree. Go. Kill all the zombies. Show no mercy. Keep on moving. Keep on grooving. This is pretty intense, but so far, not too bad. This is a lot of open space to move around. Vico, don't get right in their face, please. Vico, please. Don't melee the zombies. I have you on shoot mode. You should back off from the zombies a little bit. Okay, this is... Okay, now... Okay, now is the part... Now is the part in where it is, in fact, getting very bad. Vico, back up a little! Jesus Christ! You're not a druid. You can't turn into cat form and scratch all the zombies. You have to back up and shoot them. Vico. Okay, you know what? This is this is getting into insane. I'm gonna switch to Vico. There we go. Stand back. There we go. Now I can be a little more smart. Oh, good. Let's get out of here. Oh, where we go? Peace out. Peace out, zombs. Okay. The group feels inspired. Oh wait, I get it. She must have gotten real close because she only has the one eye thing, so she, so she would make sure that she shot, she hit him. She couldn't tell how far away they were. She doesn't have good depth perception with the one eye. <laughs> anyway, um, we're gonna get fitness because we need fitness real bad. Otherwise, we're all gonna get tired and swarmed by zombies. Zombie pointer, and yay! Our fitness is awful though. We're pretty fucked. Large campsite with a few carloads of other survivors. Vico robs them. Vico has an easy time robbing the peaceful camp. The group quickly steals food and then pay speeds off. They drive through the night and are tired the next day. That's fine. It was worth it. We got 11 food. I'm tired. It's fine. Can any human truly be too swole? Too swole to control, baby! Woo! As the group explores the campsite, they are ambushed by bandits. They banish makeshift weapons. They demand all your weapons. Isidro offers a compromise. Isidro offers a compromise to the bandits. The group will leave something the bandits want on the road, then drive away. No harm will come to either side. The supplies will be...
Um. Well, if I do, if I do the thing here, it should put all the bullets in the gun. Oh, we don't have any pistol bullets left. Okay. Um, do we have any shotgun rounds left? Okay, so... That took all the bullets out of the car, except for the rifle bullets, that like the excess rifle bullets. So... Now I can do half the ammo, it'll be less ammo. Yeah, there we go. So we only lost six rifle ammo, it's not a big deal. <coughs> but we're out of gas. Which is a big deal. Got a car, we're sitting duck, yes. Awkward bandits. Isidro reasons with them. He convinces the bandits not go through with the attack. They didn't want to anyway. Feeling pity, Isidro gives them some food. Isidro, no, why? You're supposed to be a tough biker type. But his morale went up, so... Oh no! Isidro was walking down the road when he is suddenly mauled by a feral cat! Feral cats coat the United States after the Zombocalypse. You never see them, but they're always watching, waiting for any weakness. Isidro is hurt. Morale decreases. Uh. Ah, we're almost there. There's a city ahead, rotten with zombies. The group knows that walking through a city street like this is a bad idea, but a car waits at the end of it. <sighs> this is gonna be intense. It's very thick swarm, they're hunting, and it's near sunset. I'm not super confident about our chances with this one. But we'll put that away because you don't even have any pistol ammo, so it's not gonna do any good. Start you out with the rifle equipped in your hand. Uh, put the shotgun away for the same reason as the pistol. I'm thinking I'm gonna I'm gonna give him a knife so he has one like fast weapon. Uh, and Vico, whom I will be controlling. Uh, we'll have, I think just the cleaver is fine. Now, I'll take the screwdrivers back up, and then if I find a weapon somehow in this encounter, we can just drop it. Okay, go. Good luck, my se my team of myself. Let's go. What more do you want? No, 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 we don't want that. We want to either defend. There we go. Just siphon some gas out of this one. And... Siphon some gas out of this one. There we go. Okay, um, is he, is he, is he, is he, oh, okay, he's dead. I was about to call him Isildor, but that is not his name. It was like Isiro or something. But he's dead, so let's just forget about him. Oh, the only important character that remained is still alive. Ah, it's, it's Dale's dead bug from King of the Hill. This is another good vehicle to have, probably. And away we go! Yep, rip Issy. Oh well. Whoa, it's Maggie! My former co-worker. It's nice to see a familiar face. She's being thrown out by her former group. They seem pretty angry. Maggie shrugs. She's nurturing an ultra fit. Well, she's she's definitely a trustworthy sort, so let's have her join the team. I mean, she deserted me in the other one, but that it, was, it wasn't really her fault. It's important to keep set rations to conserve our supplies, says Vico. Oh shit. Bandits appear, all wearing sweatbands and all super buff. Even their dog! They demand protein powder. They will also accept the remainder of your food and a quarter of your ammo and medical supplies. I don't think Maggie is buff though, she's just fit. So... Probably a bad idea to try that. I mean, the pose off is based off of strength, right? Not fitness? Or is it fitness? I don't know. You know what? Go for it, Maggie. No, see, she has nowhere near the muscle mass of the bandits. She loses the pose off almost instantly. The bandits take a lot of extra supplies, even ones they don't need, to teach the group a lesson about the weak challenging about the weak challenging the swole. Poop! Yeah, she's got the lowest possible strength. Great. Mm-hmm. That went well. We're driving on death road, the group decides to make us out for supplies. Uh well, Jim, because clearly we need to boost the strength here. Mild sluggish morning. Let's go. More likely than not, if they have, a, they'll probably have like a fitness machine instead, and I'll be able to train Maggie's fitness up a little more. So at least we'll have one good fit person. I think Vico's got like middle fitness. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, it's because we're tired, right? Yeah, it makes your strength and fitness go down. So it's temporarily lowered to like emergency level. Poopy. Well, 
this is bad. Um, this is just pretty bad. Uh, Maggie she can just have the knife and I'll put the screwdriver away. All right, Vico, let's go. You gotta find that gym that's in this apartment so that this trip is not a total bust. Schmack. Oh, whoops, I closed the door on Maggie. There we go. Sorry. Uh, nope. Excuse me, Grandfather Clock. There's a wrench there, but they're very heavy. So, not gonna bother with that. Rifle bullets. Food. Excellent. Medical supplies? Ah, I knew it, because we're in a bathroom. So, it tends to be medical supplies. Like, in the medicine cabinet, and so forth. What are you doing over here? Get out of the way. Oh, God! Okay, well, here's the gym. We found it. Alright, um... 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 Okay. I'm gonna switch to Maggie real quick. And have her do for fitness training. Okay. Uh, light. Well, no, because she's gonna have like medium heavy. Uphill country road. It's like swapping her legs. She produces a whole river of sweat. What a workout! Fitness revealed. All right, now let's get out. Let's just let's just get the hell out of here now. All right, Vico, you're back in the lead. Let's go! Come on, Mag. Come on, Maggie. We're leaving. We're just getting out. I don't even care anymore. Let's go. Goodbye. Oh, wait. She needs to catch up a little bar. There we go. Let's go. We outy. That was productive. Well, um, that was a fitness bike, not the weights. So I couldn't train strength. It's, it's either one or the other you get in a, in a gym. Someone from my house is calling me. Well, they can leave me a voicemail. It's nearly time to camp, but there has been a lot of signs of bandits today. Someone needs to be awake in case of an attack. Who should stay up and watch? Maggie. Yeah. She's very loyal. Alright, there we go. We only need to be careful with our supply of gas, Vico says. Even though we have 53 right now. Oh, Maggie gets shaky hands. Oh. Aurelio. Well... Sadly, we have no food, so hit the bricks. Beat it. Being paired is one of the most important parts of survival, says Vico. While driving the car, Maggie gets to do a big argument with Vico. We should take a break for the day. Yeah. Waste a day, but life goes on. Vico does some medical things, but has no supplies, and so it doesn't do medical things. Uh... Let's go to the junkyard. There's a group spots a landfill on the side of the road. The building outside of it has security signs and bars across the window. Seems a lot like a seems like a lot of protection for a junkyard's office. Moderate swarm size, irritated late morning. Check um items real quack like. Yeah, that's fine. That's good. Boop 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 boo. Doo doo doo. Zombie! Another zombie! Alright, let's see if we can get in this safe here. The safe is locked closed and too sturdy to destroy. With luck, the combination or key will be around somewhere. Oh well. We have no other alternative. Is it in here? Nope. So it's gonna be out in the junkyard. Come on, Mag. We gotta find that key or combination. Excuse me, zombies. Wow, she's not really... Oh, because she's tired, right? I forgot. I like the thing happened when she's tired. I was going to comment on how she, Maggie's tiring out really fast, but it's because she's got the tired keep up right now. Ah! Ah! Ah, no! Back off, zombies! Back off! I got a meat cleaver. I'm going to cleave your meat. Ah, there's the combo. Next to a dead guy. This piece of paper has a series of numbers on it that looks like a padlock or safe combination. I wonder what it could be for. It's a mystery. Come on, Maggie. I'm gonna put you on run mode because you're fighting too much for someone who's tired. It's not worth it. Oh, I can't get through there even though it looks like I should be able to if it was actually a three-dimensional space, but it's not. 
Ah, shit! Ah, oh, fuck, no! Okay, we're good. Where did my- wait, how did Maggie get around the other way? Did she, like, hacksaw her way through the junk pile? I wasn't watching her, so I didn't see it happen, but she came from the other direction. Alright, alright, alright. Let's get this fucking stuff. Uh, we got... Mm, we need the food real bad. We just need that food. Alright, let's go. Whoop. And away. Ah, I got a back zombie. No! Woo! We made it. That was a nail biter. Okay. We're doing alright. We got food again. So we don't have to. So the girls don't have to eat each other. The group spends so much effort arguing. Oh shit. The group spends so much effort arguing with each other that they don't notice they've driven into the middle of an overwhelming sea of zombies. A building is nearby, but it seems hopeless. Siege alert, there's no escape. Overwhelmingly afternoon, two hours. So I can either fight them and probably die, or give up. But I'm not one to give up usually, so fight army of zombies. I'm sure we'll find a way to persevere and our, our, uh, what's the word? I don't know. I'm sure that when we kill all the zombies, the gods will smile upon us and give us, transport us straight to Canada or something, I don't know. Um. Wow, I don't like. I don't like this. What can I give Maggie? This is bad. I'm gonna. Be, I guess she'll just have two knives and a crowbar. Is she still tired? I hope she's not, not still tired. Okay, no. Okay, nobody's tired. Good. That's one thing in our favor. But I don't think we're gonna live. I'm just saying this right now. I don't think. I don't think Maggie and Vico are gonna make it out of this one. Well. Go on, go down swinging so you can get into Valhalla, I guess. You must, die, you must die a glorious death in combat. Yeah, I'm gonna give her the, I'm gonna give her the femur instead of the other knife. There we go. Variety. All right, let's go. For glory! Ooh, a bat. Okay, hang on a second. Um. Take control of Maggie real quick. Maggie switches to the fever. Takes the bat! Oh shit! Okay, wait. Whoa, shit, no! Vico! Vico! No, Vico! Fuck. Vico's dead. Oh no! Oh jeez! Oh jeez! Vico had all the guns! Oh no! This is this is not good. Bam! Ah! Okay, alright, alright. Chair! Oh, okay. Okay. I'm sorry I got you killed, Vico. I was just trying to switch weapons real fast. Oh no! Ah! Well, all is lost. You have died on the death road to Canada. Well, hopefully next time we'll make it in our next life in the parallel universe when I play it in the future. So. That's it for tonight for Death Road to Canada. Um, I'm gonna see what, cause I gotta, I gotta at least check what my family wanted cause they called me. Um, if I can get, if I can get my f two friends that I was talking with to actually come online, we can play some GTA online. Um, but if not, if not I'll have to call tonight cause I do have work in the morning. But I'm willing to play if they'll come on, so. Uh, wish me luck. Um, thank you for all the people who have followed. I really appreciate it. I'm, I really would love to be able to, uh, get to an affiliate so I could maybe like it would be my dream if I could make if I could actually like make money streaming and with YouTube um, but I don't, I don't like, expect it to happen but I'm trying anyway just what, as I can but I still have a day job which is why I would call tonight if my friends don't come online but yeah if I don't see you more tonight I'll be on again possibly tomorrow but my schedule I didn't schedule Monday or Tuesday because I often have other things happening but I'll try to come out at least a little bit in the evening after work. Um, but the next scheduled day for sure is Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern. So, ciao for now. Thanks for watching. And I love you all for watching me. I really appreciate it. Truly from the bottom of my heart. Have a good one.